Still gonna. Hey, look at that. There it is. Wow. Don't know why it does that. Check that out. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, thanks. Jimmy, thanks for the heads up there, buddy. Yeah, I just glanced down to the meter and said, hey, look at this. Look what it's not bouncing. Okay. <laughs> How's that for a fine start? All right, all right. Sorry about that. All right, so we're doing good now. All right, kind of plugged in. Don't know why. Sometimes it's, I'm not sure if it's Streamlabs. Streamlabs that does that to me or if it's the, the mic or what. But yeah, I mean, it was working while I was testing it. And then come back and then not so much. But all right, yeah, we're good now. Jimmy, how's it going, man? Welcome. How you doing? So I guess the only thing you missed was I was just basically saying, can, uh, hey, you know, congrats on reaching the weekend, everyone. It's Friday. TGIF. Got ourselves a nice little weekend. And, um, you know, for those of us in uh, the U.S., it's Memorial Day weekend. So I hope some of you guys get yourselves a nice three-day weekend to relax. Um, I'm going to do a few things, but I'll probably be mo working most of the time. That's the joys of being self-employed is that you always feel compelled to keep working. But yeah, and it also helps when you enjoy what you do. So, not complaining, just pointing it out. So, tell you what, let's get started with a nice little bombing run. Here you go. Here you go, guys. Catch some bombs. So, where are we at? All right. So when we left off Wednesday, uh, if you remember, I was struggling with trying to get the uh, Hannibal. Look who made it back. Welcome, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, uh, yeah, you missed it. I already finished that game, and I'm already on my next one. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you haven't been going that long. Um, yeah, so, no, just catching catching you guys up. So, um, basically what I was working on was um, on Wednesday, I was trying to implement a new setup. Let me bring that up here real quick. Let me go. Um, here we go. Let's go on the levels. Let's switch this out real quick. And drop them in there. There, fire this up. All right. So this was the new character I was playing with, right? And the idea here is that he's going to be able to follow you from point to point, right? And I was just working on waypoints. And I had, I wouldn't say started with nothing. And I, I had some pretty decent success. I mean, he's, he's working pretty well. Um, he does break at certain points. He'll reach certain points and then kind of like take off on me I didn't do it that time and then of course when he switches from waypoint to waypoint he just does that that juddering kind of thing but that's just all placeholder but the important thing was that I got it so he hits a waypoint and he looks for where uh, the player is and sort of chooses based on these little waypoint targets up here where to try and go to so I got some of that started got that plugged in and working nicely um, I came up with another little tool because right now I'm just using sort of like guesstimates on which direction you should go based on Y position, that kind of stuff. Uh, now I'm going to actually try to implement an idea where it's rotation, right? You know, it's using my position versus him in an angle to try and determine which way he should go up, down, left, right, that kind of stuff. And maybe spread it out now too, whereas before I was just doing cardinal directions in terms of when he reaches a waypoint, he'd only have, you know, a choice of up, down, left, right. And I'm going to flesh that out a bit more and maybe see if there's like in-betweens, right, and more conducive ways. So, but that's what I was doing on Wednesday, but that's not what I'm going to work on today because what you're going to see here is a nice little mix. Check this out. We got this little <laughs> hodgepodge. What we have is out with the old, in with the new. So you can see here, this is the old placeholder graphics that you guys have been staring at for uh, a few weeks now, right? Yeah. But my fantastically talented artist guy just stepped up and started dropping in some art for me. Look at this stuff, man. He, he got me these little uh, seamless tiles that I can slap together and start making some real levels with. Um, <clears throat> I'll point out that the background that he has uh, is still temp. This was just sort of something that he roughed in just to give me an idea of what he was thinking. And I like it, so he's going to refine that. But the cool thing is that I got some of this dialed in. So let me show you what it looks like in context. I have a couple of levels that I started to uh, update and integrate with the new graphics, and I'll show you that. And still got a ways to go. And that's what I'm going to work on today is updating some more of these levels. Uh, it's not the most exciting thing, but just uh, nice tiles. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to take credit for it, but it is a very, very talented artist that I've worked with before named Daniel Thomas, and I'm thrilled that I got him back on board again to work with me. 
I wouldn't even say for me at this point I'm saying with me because this stuff is just so fantastic so let me show you so here's the cool thing so we got this right we got this you know and once again the, the setting is that we're like in the, the core of a planet right with this molten lava core that's rising so that's why we have that glow coming from below right and uh, obviously the characters are still placeholder right for those of you who don't know they're very much placeholder because they're tied to an intellectual property which I plan on like spilling the beans on that uh, right after I make my little trip to E3 in a few weeks and then I'll, I'll tell you guys all about it I'll finally like finally open Pandora's box and you guys can get all the gory details of who the character is really gonna be about all that kind of stuff so in the meantime it's still got these little goofy placeholder characters but it works so but so what I'm gonna have now is is the foreground tiles right this is the, the little purple stuff that you're actually climbing around on right we have midground tiles and then the background and the midground tiles I do this little parallax trick on them right and the nice thing about that is that you remember I had those rewards sitting there and what I'm doing now is I'm letting the rewards kind of tie into and I would just reveal the space there but what I'm letting the rewards like here right and here and here which by the way rewards are still temp of course as well but now what you see is the rewards actually are tied into the midground, so you have that nice little 3D effect, and I hope that registers for you guys on the stream. Um, see, I don't miss the streams uh, when you post them on Discord. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I deserve the scolding for that. Uh, yeah, Handwell and I were talking about that the other day, <laughs> where he's just gonna like, sorry, Mr. Stream. Yeah, legitimate reason. I forgot to post it on Discord. Yeah. That's me. I, you know, I guess we're wrapped up in trying to get everything coordinated and set up before I start the stream. That is like, did I forget anything? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I always forget to post on Discord. So, but yeah, Blow the Stone, thanks for coming around, buddy. Just showing off the new art tiles that my artist, my insanely talented artist, has supplied me. Uh, obviously, the lava is still temporary, right? Ignore the lava, ignore the coins, ignore the characters, of course, but just focus on the tiles, right? And so what I've done, this is kind of cool. Uh, you guys can check this out. I'll show you a little behind the scenes. Show the, how the magic is working here. It's pretty slick. Uh, I'm just messing with you. Uh, cool to see you on again. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it, there was a long hiatus, but it was good for me. I mean, I, you know, I need to get my own stuff straight and get better organized. And yeah, I think I'm there. We'll, we'll see. Um, I mean, of course, I'm going to be taking a break here in a couple of weeks when I head off to E3. So I miss you guys that week. But... You know, I'm back. Finally, I'm back. All right, so check this out. So here is because the camera's moving, it's too subtle. But if you check out this top view up here, right? Watch this. So when I slide off of there, you get a better sense. My pa oh, I'm paused, aren't I? Oh, 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 wait, let me turn off full screen. There you go. So now check that out. So up here, you see that? So I'm doing this little sleight of hand. I'm, I'm faking my own little parallax there, right? And it's just, it's subtle. It's, I mean, when you see it in a camera view, it doesn't read as much, but when you see it from the side, you realize how much I'm actually moving stuff, right? And it's just, it's pretty cool. I think it, it helps sell a 3D kind of feel to it. And this is before I introduce the lighting. The intention is to add some normal maps to all this stuff and actually have some uh, really nice, diverse lighting, especially like when you get down in here, right? When you're like down by the lava, you can imagine like these orange flickers just coming off of here and just lighting the edges and just illuminating it all, right? And just really kind of defining those 3D edges, you know, to try and bring it out of 2D land and make it, you know, have a, a quasi 3D feel. Uh, I'm not looking for tomorrow. Uh, tiles look great. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, uh, Daniel Thomas, my artist guy that's been banging this stuff out for me. Uh, fantastic stuff. He's, he's just insanely freaking talented. So Hannibal, um... What is tomorrow? Is like a uh, marathon thing or something? You got like, uh, you know, like every movie known to man? 12 hours. Wow. Mm. So, what is that? Like a um, uh, Hunger Games marathon or something? Yeah, about 20 minutes is enough for me, I think. <laughs> no, but I, I got my ticket for Sunday. Uh, ticket for Sunday. Alien in 4K. Nice. Nice. Sweet. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, back in my old job, we had 12 to 14 hour days. Uh, back before the EA Widow, back in the good old days of visual effects, yeah, I would, when it was a straight flat rate, when I worked in visual effects and animation, 
yeah, um, I was doing whatever hours I could work, you know, because they didn't care. If I worked two hours or 20 hours, I was, they were paying me the same hourly rate. There was no overtime back then. And I was young and hungry enough that I, I would do it, but... Um, <laughs> what was your old pay? I think that's sort of below the stone. Yeah, I guess he's asking if you got overtime with that. 10 bucks an hour. Oh, jeez. So what was that, back in the, uh, the 80s? <laughs> Kidding. Um, yeah, so uh, you mentioned Alien in 4K. That would be that would be pretty. That would definitely be pretty. Um, I think I told the story before, but pardon me if you've heard it before, but it's my, my brush with greatness. Uh, it wasn't Alien, but Aliens, right? The James Cameron movie that I got a buddy of mine invited me to a screening that had Gail Ann Hurd and some of the visual effects guys added to it, right? And it was just so cool. So we watched the movie, and then we do a Q&A with all the people afterwards. And they pointed out, like, uh, oh, by the way, uh, Newt came to the screening here as well. And, and, like, in it's like she's right there in the audience, right? And they point, and I look, and she's, like, literally, like, right behind me. It's kind of like, there's Newt all grown up. Yeah, she mostly comes at night. Mostly. But, uh, yeah, that was insane. That was just so much fun. Just to see aliens again in a in a theater environment, you know, and just having a nice little Q and A with the visual effects guys, right? Who are all pretty much legends by themselves too. So I mean, that was just amazing. Uh, you got me beat. Uh, Twelve bucks for three hours, then eleven for the rest. <laughs> wow, good times. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, let me do a little play in here. All right, so yeah, so now you notice I had like those little like coin boxes, right, as placeholders. Now I actually have like, you know, here, you know, broken. There's your tip off, right? You see a little broken stuff. You hit that, boop, and you reveal areas. Excuse me. I'm going to do some kind of nice reveal there, of course. I mean, right now it just disappears. I'll do something a little prettier, but at least for the time being, it, it, it registers. But I love this. I love the fact that the coin kind of like hangs on that mid-ground element, right? And you can see that little parallax shift. I love how that reads. So, and uh, yeah, the background is just a color. Uh, I just did a, a slight softening of the, the main foreground textures and then just did a desaturation and then added that little brown just to get it to where it is now. Uh, I don't give a shit about the shift hours for projection. I come in. <laughs> and leave <laughs> I think you described about like 80 90 percent of all workers in the world <laughs> you know <laughs> I show up I do it I go home that's it the parallax looks great thanks man I appreciate that yeah um here I'll show you the I'll show you the little magic sauce for that it's pretty simple stuff too uh, all I'm doing is basically just keying off of the um, the camera position. So, for example, if I come in here, right, and then I have like this little um, level manager, right? <laughs> I take freedom with their schedule, though. <laughs> yeah, you want me at 10? I'm in at 10.15. Deal with it. Um, all right, let me bring this up. So, yeah, at first I was doing it under fixed update, and I just noticed a little bit of a stutter step there. So I just switched it back over to uh, update so all I'm doing like in this example uh, the background tiles um, that would be the mid ground I refer to them as background tiles but it's mid ground tiles but you get the idea right so and then I just kind of found trial and error just found some decent values right so I just take the camera position minus its position and then 28 because that's actually the, the height of the um, the level right 28 units so that way I get this nice little parallax shift so it doesn't go too far, right, in either direction. It never goes too, too far. Yeah, you want me at 8? <laughs> and there at 7.30 because stuff takes time. <laughs> well, that's nice of you to actually come in and or, or you're still on the clock at that point, right? I assume you, you, you don't like come in 7.30 throwing that the free half hour. You just walk in, psh, I'm on the clock. Yeah, you guys, you say you want 8, but you need 7.30. I get that. I, I've had those jobs before as well, too. It's like, yeah, you want me to prep everything and be ready to roll by when? <laughs> you really don't understand how this stuff works, do you? Yeah, I've had a couple of those. Um, so this is pretty much it, right? I mean, it's pretty simple stuff. I'm just keying off the camera, figuring out where I am, right? 
and just letting it slide and then so I mean this is the magic sauce right here right I'm doing this just because of where the camera starts and the background starts there's a little offset but then this is the majority of it right here so I'm just doing it times two and then um, for the actual background um, I think I have that stored in here somewhere uh, background tiles and I, what I do is I just have two of these right that I repeat and I, I just once it gets at a certain range it just pops up again and keeps moving up so it's just these two pieces just checkerboarding all the way up uh, for a special event at 6 when it starts at 6 30 see you at 4 <laughs> they, they had a chat about me not clocking in to do minor work oh man that sucks that sucks just no understanding of what you're actually doing uh, I yeah I feel for you man that's brutal um all right and then so for this one where's the other one it was like uh two right so this one I was doing the the mid ground I scaled uh slide those at like a two value this one I'm just doing at a point three so that was just a bit of quick trial and error just to find what the right speed was I mean it was not anything that it took that much time to calculate I just sort of like winged it until it looked like yeah I like that I like the shift yeah I mean it's not a true 3d right I mean if it was like a real 3d kind of stuff it would be a different speed but I just thought aesthetically it looked right so that was the winner right there and I have no idea why I had to change in that one but okay um, so having said that let me go through a couple of these uh, no I mean I wasn't clocking in for very minor stuff that takes me a no time uh, no time to do oh got it okay gotcha all right, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to the lava stuff, right? As soon as he gets the lava plugged in, uh, I'll be adding that as well. Oops, and I got the damage turned off, so I don't have to worry about screwing up and getting taken out. But so I haven't updated all the levels yet. You'll see. I just started doing that yesterday, a uh, chunk of the day. So you're gonna see some of the older looking levels here in just a second. That's what I'm gonna be working on. You know what? I don't know why I get that sometimes. <clears throat> uh, I'm just waiting to see this character you keep hinting at. <laughs> you know what? I hate to be a total tease, but he's actually attached to this character right now. I just have him turned off. So, uh, he, th yeah, it's there. It's there. He's He's got it made out for me, but uh, I'm still... I'm going to do it after E3. Let me just go do E3 so I can do all the, the conversations. So, I you know, those guys can hear about it first. <laughs> Yeah, so let me just do that. Let me go talk to the E3 guys. Uh, yeah, it's still a long shot, I know. Uh, I don't know if anything will come out of it, but um, once I, I get done with that, all right, then I'll I'll come back and tell you guys all about it. I promise. All right, so there's once in a blue moon, there's a. I noticed that I can actually hit the, there. I hit the lava there, and I didn't register. Now, I'm thinking that's just because it's detecting the level before it detects the lava. And I'm probably going to revise that once I get the real lava. I think this this level is going to get cut here, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Once you know what, actually, let me fix that. Let me just play with that right now. So this is um, we're up here, and this is two. So let me let me try and make adjustment to that right now, and see if my theory is correct. All right. Yeah. So there's. You can see there's the level cutting in underneath. So what I'll do is make sure I select the right one because it will let you screw stuff up like that. And then I'll correct this like so. Uh, yeah, and I'm hoping the lava will reach there. I'll figure that out once I actually get that for real. And then just, you see I'm just kind of like randomly selecting here to, to mix it up a bit. Um... Be right back. Tiny bit of gotta do. Uh, check food. <laughs> go, go check your food. But if you're gonna do food, man, you gotta. Do you bring enough for all? You gotta share. I'm still hungry. I had lunch, but I, I can still eat. All right. So that's good. So let me take another stab at this and see if my theory holds up here. Let me get up in here. Go away. All right. And then this is the part I'm concerned about. I don't know why I care about taking damage. I got it like in God mode in essence, so 
I, I'm just instinctively. I had a fried egg BLT for lunch. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so that's not it. There it was. It did it again. There. Wow, it's not registering for whatever reason. Uh, I only share if you show that character. <laughs> All right, but you have to not tell anybody. So everyone else, stop looking for a couple minutes. Okay, right? Okay, I trust everyone, right? No. <laughs> Come on, man. I've been teasing it for forever anyways. At this point, we're just down to some days before I, I actually do the full reveal. All right. So that's kind of scary that I'm able to hit in the middle and it doesn't register. So um, I'm doing a check. Oh, where's my mail? Is it over in? Good, it's over on this side. So um, yeah, so I'm doing a check. Um, but let's see. Let me see if that's the culprit. All right. So and he's lava. It should be correct. Checkmate. <laughs> no. Uh, let me see. Let me take a look at my player character. Yep. And let me come back in here into. And it's funny because if you guys remember a few weeks ago, I mean, everything was like decked out with everything that was Corgi, right? It was the Corgi plugin with the 2D controls, that kind of stuff for all the characters. Um, I've now dropped it to. I, there's a couple of the scripts that are still attached to the main player that are using the Corgi, you know, like these guys. But everything else I've just yanked, and I'm just doing it all myself just because I was hitting too many roadblocks for what I wanted to do exactly, and I couldn't quite get there. So the more I did that, the more I just like, yeah, it's gone, you know. But, I mean, I still like most of the controls what I have here, right? So I'm still leaving this as is. Um, all right, but, and then, like, the player controller, this is my script. This is one that I did. So, untrigger enter... Here we go. Uh, projectiles on lava flow. Okay, yeah. Strange. So it should just hit right off the bat. Uh. All right, let me see if it's just not registering, which it should. That's kind of disconcerting, honestly. Let me load up that level real quick and see if there's anything else that I'm missing on that. I mean, I'm sure gamers would like it because it sort of like gives you a, a, a slight cheat that you can like touch the lava and not take damage. Touch the lava. Hey, <laughs> that sounds wrong. All right. So that's correct. That's all good. Right? Rigid body static. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with it, but that's bizarre. That. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, it, unless I have this. Okay. And it's, all it's doing is just checking right while I'm up here. On first contact I'm saying um, if he's not already damaged right then proceed if he's damaged then don't process which makes sense but then I just tell it which collision object we hit and then uh, take damage uh, so yeah he should be taking damage unless I'm doing some secondary check that I forgot about um, no no take damage just means boom show it all right, that's really disconcerting. That because it looks like it's making contact. All right, let me try this again. Let me see. Let me get up, back up here. Wow. Ah. What is this? Uh, how did my father die? Wasn't very good at playing. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll check that link out in a second. Just tell me if I'm going to regret clicking that link. All right. There it is. Crap. All right. So. All right. Turn that, that off. Let me come back out so I can see what I'm doing here. Let me hit player. There. All right. There we go. There you go. See, look at that. I just nailed it twice. So I hit at the top, and it registers, right? But in the middle, it's not registering. That is absolutely terrifying. 
Um, that I mean, that was like the old code I used to have where it looked at the, the actual contact point. But that shouldn't be it. Let's see. All right, one sec. Okay. Probably cause humor. Oh, okay, let's see. Uh... <laughs> okay, that's good. We have Skywalker. How did my father die? He wasn't very good at playing the floor is lava. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wrong. <laughs> that's wrong. Funny, but wrong. Yeah. All right. Look at that. So, all right, let me try this now. So, I mean, it's striking it, but it's not registering any actual content. Uh, contact. So, uh, let me knock him out. Let me come back up here to untrigger enter, right? Debug. Log. Let's see if it shows what it's hitting. Because that's, that's a bizarre thing. Um... I mean, it's part of a tile base, but it shouldn't matter where it strikes it on the tile. Um, I saw episode three. He sucked at that game. That was the only thing that sucked. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. The prequels. Ouch. Ouch. I don't know. For everyone that's been bagging on uh, Last Jedi... You know, and talk about how much it's like destroying the, the series. You know, my response is one word response. I just go prequels. I mean, come on. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, man. You know, that, that's like saying, you know how much damage I think that that stupid Last Jedi movie did to the series? It's like, uh, no more so than George did with the, the, the prequels. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> No, when your lead character just, oh God, you know, oh, can't deliver a line to save himself. It's just like, I mean, I feel sorry for the kid. I mean, he was, you know, he was just a kid actor, but considering Haley Joel Osment was one of the finalists to play Anakin, can you believe that? You know, if you watch some of the behind the scenes, right? They had Haley Joel, like in the final three, and they're like, no, 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 we need to go with this other kid because he's so much more talented. What? Come on. <laughs> it was hilarious for Spaceballs film. <laughs> yeah. Funny. Ha ha. Don't know if it was meant to be, but yeah. All right. All right. So. Yeah. God, so it hits it and it registers no contact whatsoever. Crap. That's not good at all. All right, let me pause this, see if I can actually, oh, maybe, oh, wait, wait, maybe I'm not dead. Maybe it's because, lava, no, no, it's there. Hmm. I took great joy in watching it with my best friend. His soul was crushed. I was laughing the whole time. Wow. There's no greater joy than the misery suffered by your closest friends. <laughs> Dude, you're a dark soul. <laughs> wow. Okay, yeah, that's like nothing there. So. Why? does it not want to detect um is it because i have no clue um let me try this just for the fun of it let me uh come up to my player character here and push his little feelers out just a bit more uh i think it's under character and i would be wrong i would be wrong <clears throat> Uh, I had to get vengeance for him dragging me to see those uh, Potter films. 
Okay, fair enough. That that's yeah, you you earned that revenge, I guess. Uh, here we go. Rayov. So let's try to push that to three. Excuse me. Oh, I forgot. Unfortunately, I think for some reason the corgi when I make changes, it doesn't even register until I go away and come back. Which I have no idea how that's even possible, but all right. So let me bump it up to three and see if that registers now. All right, pass through here. Let's just get up there. And then, yeah, I get that frame rate that just drops when I have like the Corgi script stuff selected in the inspector. Come on, just give me something else to select it. There it goes. There. All right, take this guy out of my way. There. Clear this. Hit that. All right. Wow. No, it's not even registering that hit. Why would it not do that? That is so bizarre. Look at that. Oh, I don't even have to jump. I'm doing it the hard way. Look at that. I got nothing there. Why? Wow. Is that something to do with maybe the tile only detects... Huh. When it's on top? Look at that. Nothing. But then if I hit it there, I have to hit it like right exactly on top. Otherwise, it just will not process it. Okay. That is totally, totally bizarre to me. Let's see. But then that one works. Hmm. All right. It could be the tile stuff. It could be the fact that I grouped them into tiles. Uh, it, it affects the way the collisions work, maybe. Ah, I'm just, I'm guessing, grasping at straws here, but let's see. Um, okay, so that's lava flow, right? That's lava. Right. So, okay. So, for the fun of it, let's try this. Let me switch this back over to my lava. Right. Take out the middle one. And let's see what we get now. <sighs> All right. So, I mean, there's like a, a couple. Let's see. If I hit there, if I hit there. Look at that. Nothing. All right. All right, so let me check if it's the character. Hold on. Maybe, crap. All right, let me think about this. Let me come back out to player and adjust and see if I do or don't have him added. There's lava. So if I turn that off and it doesn't detect. Let's see. Maybe that's all I needed. Let's see. That's a good start. Die, jerk. Yeah, he registers. Check it out. Okay. So, it be, it may be one of the things that I turned on lava uh, under the Corgi settings, and I think that was uh, circum uh, circumceding? <laughs> Circumstantial. Circumspect. Uh, whatever. <laughs> Demonstrating my lack of knowledge. Um, yeah, I think it may just have been uh, superseding. Hey, there it is. Superseding uh, that. There it is. Okay, but now I'm not registering crap. So now he's just going to pass through it. All right. Okay, so if... Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back now that we know that, right? So we let it so you can actually pass through the lava. Right? Or unless, let me try this. Let me try and make him not a trigger. If he is a trigger item. Let me check that out. Lava flow. He is, oh, he's not a trigger already. Okay, let me just try it as a trigger. Maybe that will change it. Let me see. I mean, it's one thing 
when you do it with traditional, but I mean with the corgi stuff, it sort of like complicates things. Okay, so I'm hitting there, but I don't know if that's the, the lava that's pushing me back or if that's just the level edge there that I'm hitting. So worst case is that I just have the ground underneath the lava, all right? Yeah, see, I'm kind of down in the lava. I think that's me just resting on the ground and not lava. So I think I already know the answer to this. I think he's going to pass through it. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to pass through it. Takes the damage, and that's fine. That's no big deal. I mean, all I'm going to have to do then is just go ahead and what I had before, which is just always have the ground just underneath the lava, right? And then I'll be fine. So if we just go underground tiles, and I'll bring this back out. Oops. Gotta make sure I got the right thing selected. See, they like keep messing with this. Um, tile platforms. There it is. Yes, that's selected. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, try this one for there. All right. So. And of course, it doesn't matter because the lava is gonna cover this anyways. But I'm just gonna be detail oriented here there like that and we're good and then let me put lava back together again since I broke it there lava. boom there okay so that should fix that oh I'm not maximized am I let me bring this back up all right there it goes that's all pretty all right. Oh crap! But then you see, I'm like, there. That lava's coming to the edge there. <sighs> okay, I have to think about that. Die. Ah, eh, forget it. Who cares about you? I hit that. That's fine. <clears throat> and I guess what I could do is also make the lava be on top, of in terms of layers. There. All right. Boom. All right, so now that's registering. So let me try that. <clears throat> All right, so then hmm. let me think. Okay, so so I was doing a cheat. Um, is your vertical lava going to almost be like lava falls in in this game? You think? Um, Oh, back, by the way. <laughs> uh, when you return, I'll answer that question. Oh, hey, you're back. Um, yeah, so the, the goal is, uh, once my artist actually makes some beautiful art there, the, the goal is, I'm not sure if he's going to actually take the time to do the animation or if I'm going to try and do an animated series of frames based off of his original image. But yeah, the idea is that I wanted to like undulate downward and just by doing a series of, of frames, you know, and then trying to figure out how I'm going to meld it with a corner. I'm still not sure about that. I'll have to figure that out through some trial and error for sure, but um, but yeah, that, that's the intention to have that nice little kind of flow. So I want all the lava to be active. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think if I, I well, I can't show because it, unfortunately the, the ref images he sent me have like the uh, the other characters in there, so I can't quite <laughs> dig that one up at the moment. But um, actually, what he was doing too was like the idea of like having a surface, right, and then like bubbles that are in it. So I may do something where, um, it, you know, the surface just has like, you know, a surface that kind of like, you know, slithers downward, right? And then bubbles that just kind of is a separate uh, item, right? That pops up and uh, drifts. So, I mean, that would even just make it all the more dynamic. I mean, then we'd have like, you know, uh, different uh, layers, right? So parallax kind of shift, which I think it'd be even cooler, you know? So that's all gonna be like, you know, extra bonus stuff that I'll definitely add in there over time. All right, so first thing I want to look at was this guy. Um, okay, so I think what I was talking about doing before was, let's see, so if I had him kind of go, oh, come on, give me the right stupid thing. There he is. All right, so if, maybe if I try this one. So here's the issue I have now, and this is why I ended up doing that that layer there, which I want to delete now, is because right now all of my art stuff, um, and this is going to be me having to do some tweaking. All my art stuff relies exclusively on having at least uh, two 
uh, two levels of thickness, right? So right now you can see I have this situation here where it's one, right? And so what I'm probably have to do is just kind of come up with a few more tiles or maybe like a half tile or something that comes in here and just kind of drifts down. Um, I mean, it's not terrible, but I mean, it's definitely something that I want to fix. And I mean, obviously, if I if I do this, then the wall is sticking out beyond the, the lava, which is not what I want. But I'll need something here. So, yeah, just talking out in my own thoughts, I'm going to just introduce the idea of and I can do this uh, rather than send it back to my artist and bug him. Uh, I can probably just uh, cannibalize some of the, the tiles that are here and just make a half width version, right, that this can kind of connect onto right and it just kind of like it would connect right there and just kind of drop downward um yeah yeah i think that'll work i might even try and tackle that here i don't know if i get tired of like updating the levels but um yeah so this works but now the problem is that because that lava doesn't have a collider right because otherwise i lose the the contact with the side so oh no wait it look at that it did but then, oh, what the hey? What? Wait, wait, wait. Why am I not? Wait, why am I not detecting? I thought we fixed that. Hold on. Did I do that while I was in game? So I lost that change. God, I hope that's it. I don't want to like find more issues here. Come on. Nope. Lava's turned off. So why is it not detecting? All right. Uh, let me see. I, I wasn't looking down here. Oh, let me come back out here. Look at that. It's not detecting again. Por qué? What's up with this, dude? Man. It's just like... You flip it one way, and I thought I had this working before, but then... Okay. So... Alright. Let me reverse myself here. Let me turn... Lava back on. Which still makes no sense because it was a trigger? I mean, worst case is I can tell the lava to check itself, right? And when it detects a hit, just kind of go, hey, I just, you know, dude hit me. Yeah, so there's nothing there. Okay. Um, unless, wait, wait, wait. Uh, section one, how do I have the lava set up? Ooh, ooh, that's a good question. Lava... Platforms is okay. Um, game devs are scientifically the most patient people just because this kind of thing happens regularly. Yeah, yeah, you kind of have to be. Otherwise, you know, you get that uh, that real genius moment, right? Did you ever see Real Genius? Let's see if I can find that meme or just a little clip of it because I love that. Yeah. Yep. God bless the internet. Oh, wait. Let me sit through the stupid commercial for a 10-second little... All right. Here you go. Real genius. Such a classic movie. Here he goes. This is me sometimes. <laughs> He's just yelling. He's just screaming. And just... <laughs> I love this. Everyone just looks at him, right? No one does anything, right? <laughs> and then he runs down the hallway. And I love this. This is such a perfect thing. What do you do with the empty seat? You move up and take his spot. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you know? No one says, should we check on him? They just kind of go, hey, that seat's open now. I'm moving up. <laughs> yeah. Um, I've been there. I've, I've been there. I've lost a few keyboards and, and mice. Um, wait, wait, was that Dean? Was that Dean? I know he's in the pool. Uh, okay. I knew he was in the pool, but I didn't realize that was actually doing the Dean doing the freak out there. Wow, so that was like his very first speaking role, right? That was way before Moon, right? Got it. Okay. That's funny, I because I always remembered him from the, the, the pool scene, but I, I didn't put two and two together that that was him. Mmm. Yeah. Um, that, that takes, uh, oh, he's the one that takes freak out seat. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, he's the one that moves up into that position. Right. Which, yeah. 
is it's funny because actually now that since that is Dean, I think the funny thing would be actually to like you know take it and you, you show like he's watching a, a tablet and he's watching the movie that Dean just directed recently, you know, and he's trying to watch it and he just loses it. Sorry, Dean should stick to producing and maybe occasionally acting, right? <laughs> I don't know if he should get in that director's chair again. You know, he's like, Roland did it for all those years, man. I was I was hanging over Roland's shoulder for all those years. I'm sure I could do this. How hard could it be? Ooh. <laughs> did love Stargate. Well, yeah, but that was him producing. That wasn't him directing, right? That was all that was all uh Roland, right? Roland Amrit. That's all credit to him. Yeah. I mean he was just Well, he played. Well <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. So let me ch uh, check this and see. Okay, now is trigger. Let me see if that's because it was not registered as trigger. And if so, I'm gonna have to make sure I do this for all my levels. Nope. Now it hits there, but not there. Ah. <sighs> all right. But then, if I take this off. The player. Let me come back out. Come back in a player and then turn that back off again. It's so frustrating. Uh, I'm gonna have to uh, keep checking my food. <laughs> We're grilling today. Oh, nice, man. Uh, I'll try to bring back some dogs for you, Twitch guys, too. That would be greatly appreciated. You know, not that we're just sitting here endlessly just staring at our screen and shoving food in our face all the time. Mom, more Hot Pockets. No, that's not a... Wait, that is us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Go do your thing. I'll be here. Just plugging away. Hopefully figuring out what's wrong. You want ketchup? Ketchup, dude. Mustard? No. Ketchup. Just ketchup. Just ketchup. Mommy low. <laughs> yeah, I want chicken pot pie. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a, yeah, okay, that's no big deal. Nothing there, and that still does register. Hit base ground. Hit tile map. Alright, so I'm just curious. So if I do this... So I make sure that that's actually the one that's feeding it the hit. And if so, then why is it not registering the other one? I'm working on my tracking dock for work. Um... More of a may, uh, mayo chup man myself. Ooh, mayo man. Mayo, mayo is the definition of evil, man. You, you want to lose me, put mayo on something. Ooh. Yeah, just wrong. Just no. Mayo anything. Uh-uh. All right, so not rushing there. Yep. Yeah. Ketchup, I'm, I'm all about ketchup. Mayo is pure evil, man. That's, that's just like, no. Wow, oh, so it still registered the hit. Crap, so why would it do that? Unless the lava is, let me see, make sure that I don't have something on the, the lava that is feeding it the information. That would be interesting. Did I flip that? I'm not burning the body. No, there's no script there. <laughs> <laughs> Blowstone, take care, buddy. Yeah, sorry, man. This is a no mayo zone. Sorry. <laughs> there you go. Mayoed out right there. <laughs> I'm going to play Predator at work in June. Nice. I ain't got time to bleed. Such a great line, man. Yeah. Mayo it out. <laughs> Wait. There. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but it just felt right. <laughs> Alright. So what the heck am I doing here? Why can I not get this consistent? Okay, now I'm just going to do this. I'm going to just go player. <clears throat> Next. Lava's off, so why is that even registering a hit now? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Project settings, maybe because it's up here. OP Scripter, yes. 
Shock of all shocks, man. I have returned. Look at that. Nice. Sweet. Thanks, man. Welcome back. Welcome back big time. Look at that. Healthy Scripture. Thanks for the... Yeah, thanks for the chips, man. Thanks for the bed, sir. There you go. I'm going to celebrate with some... Everyone gets to fly. There you go. <laughs> thanks, man. Nice to be back. Yeah, that was a few weeks off, but it was definitely needed. It was part of it was trying to, you know, like completely get done with uh, the previous Volley Village game, and and also trying to figure out the best way to approach this game. So I just needed the downtime because it was, you guys would have hated it. It was a lot of me just staring at the wall trying to figure out what this should be or not be, but much better shape now. And uh, starting to drop in some art that my artist has provided me, and you can see the tiles now are actually. Uh, real game art, uh, except for the lava, of course, but uh, and then in the coins and that kind of stuff, and the characters, but the tiles themselves, I've just started dropping those in, and I'm real happy with it. It's pretty cool. So, but what I'm trying to figure out right now is why my lava, I thought I had to work in. It's funny because it's like that, that you know, you put the, the sheets on the bed, right? And it's like you get that one corner that's not there, and you like struggle, and you finally get the corner down. And you realize you just yanked it off the other corner. That's what it kind of feels like with this lava hit stuff. Because it's like I fix it in one capacity. And it just seems to break it the other way. You know. <clears throat> uh, tease me with that unconfirmed ghost in the shell day. Uh, which one? Uh, are we talking live action? Are we talking about the original animated? Um, I'm hoping the animated. And then are you talking about the animated redux with the CG? Or... And it's just so many flavors at this point. And yeah, my wife was big on seeing the animated original. Yeah, my wife was big on seeing the <clears throat> the uh, the live action version, right? And that was a rental, you know. And it's like we finally got around to seeing it, and afterwards she's like, "Okay, I regretted that one." Okay. <laughs> no. All right, let me find lava. Okay, so if I turn off lava hit, right? Let me. S oh, but no, that just means it's not even going to detect any connection whatsoever. That's not what I want. So then, if I'm not even showing... Let's see. Okay, so if it's not trigger, enter. On trigger, stay. Let me try this return. Do it as well there. So he's not the culprit. <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> Many Bothans died to make that movie. Uh, she's lost her moving pick picking privileges for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay, good. So that's why it triggered was because it, it registered the uh, stay. I think that's why. So. Let's try this. Excuse me. Okay. All right kind of getting there so I mean there's obviously there's there's uh, trigger enter and trigger stay and I think that's because I had stay was still active which is why I was seeing a hit there when I thought I shouldn't have been all right so it detects it there but not there oh 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 time map oh wait 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 time map lava flare lava um hold on Really? Okay. So that seems to be implying. All right. Ah. Okay, I'm making contact right there, and it's nothing. Uh, the sad thing about the live action flick is that it could have been a decent flick on its own if it were further developed and did not have Ghost in the Shell ham fisted into it. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think that happens a lot of times, right? Where you have a movie um, that would have been fine on its own. Um, I mean, I, uh, yeah, okay, I don't want to piss anyone off, but I mean, like, uh, Star Trek Discovery. I, I think it's actually a really good sci fi show, but because it is 
Star Trek, right? Because it's tied into that. I think a lot of people are up in arms kind of going, you know, this is not my Star Trek, right? But I've really enjoyed it. I mean, I've not seen the most recent season. Hopefully I'm going to get a screener for it pretty soon so I can actually watch it. But um, I think it's actually a very fun show, um, at least from what I've seen. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, because it's interesting. So that's where I'm going wrong. So this line right here, if you can see it, that line is my contact checkpoint. So it is hitting. Okay, I got to find that. I gotta find that because it's contacting there. Okay, so let me figure out what that code is again. But yeah, I think that's true of a couple things too. I think there's other uh, movies, right? Um, JJ keeps hand-fisting Cloverfield into spec scripts. <laughs> you can never have too much Cloverfield, right? Yeah. What is it now, about 20 of them that he's, he sort of like snuck them in there? You know? So the first one was okay, you know. I mean, there's a couple of good spook moments. <laughs> Second one was okay. Um, I mean, you know, John Goodman. You put John Goodman in a movie, you know, you, you automatically get at least a star or two right there, right? But, you know, yeah. It, it's sort of like, it's, you know, Clover, Misery, Cloverfield, Cloverfield Misery, <laughs> you know? Yeah, uh, the seller was great without the ending, yeah. Mm. So, yeah, I know. I, I agree that it's like, you know, Cloverfield was kind of fun. The handheld camera stuff was kind of fun. But, yeah, retread and doing it over and over again, not so much. All right. So, f so I have Untrigger Holder. Untrigger Stay. Uh, okay, wait, wait. Uh, Lava Contact? Is that? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe that's, which I thought I disabled this. Okay, maybe this is the culprit. All right, crap. <clears throat> uh, and I don't know what they were thinking with that Netflix film. Oh yeah, uh, you know I'm I'm like anything sci-fi. I gotta watch it, right? I you know I especially if it's spaceship stuff. If it's spaceship stuff, man, I gotta watch it. Even even if it's like everyone goes seriously gouge your eyes out before watching this movie. And yeah, I watched that one. I just the whole time I was kind of going. No, 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 wrong. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, unfortunately, Netflix has sort of, by and large, turned into a dumping ground for movies that couldn't sell at the, the film market, it seems like, you know. And then they, they they trick you because every now and then, you know, you get an altered carbon. You get something that's like, wow, that was a really brilliant film. So then you give them the benefit of the doubt that the next five Netflix-specific movies uh, are going to be good, and they're not. <laughs> They're crap. All right, so I see that there. No, it's not. Okay, so it's not hitting that. So I, I was right. I do have that knocked out, but I'm not sure why I'm not. Crap. Okay, so that's knocked out. Actually knocked out. Yeah, so I've knocked all those out. So this is actually zombie code. So I'm just going to just for my own mental well-being. Really? Boom. Done. Okay. Alright. So he's not the culprit. So i got to figure out... <sighs> Why the heck? And I'm guessing it's the Corgi thing that's killing me. It's detecting it as a straight shot below, but not on the side, and I don't know why. It's just, and it's driving me nuts because it was working. So it's like, how did I break this? Look at that. I'm making contact, right? I'm stuck on him right now. I'm, I got my finger down. He's touching, but it's registering nothing as contact. All right. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a second. Is that... No? Okay, no, that's not it. No, that's not the culprit. Crap, I was thinking that maybe I put it on the wrong layer, but no, it is on the correct lava layer. 
So it just does not want to it does not want to detect side touch. But when it lands, it detects it fine. All right. Oh, and then it's not detecting it now because I knocked out the uh, stay. So that I'm not surprised about. But so let's see if I come off and come here. Yeah. So on top it detects it, but on the side there is absolutely nothing. Why? That is just confounding me. Oh, come on. There he goes. Okay. So there he is. There's definite contact there. And then these guys aren't touching it all. Por qué? Um. All right, think, 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 think. Something with the player, maybe? Let's see. But it's not. I mean, oh. I'll take that out now, but so it's not this because I mean you can see the the hit. You know this debug line, right? It's not even showing up when I hit the lava on the side. I was insane. Like I said, I mean it's like I had it working before, but then I I, I tweaked it because it was not working somewhere else, and now it's not <laughs> it's not working on this one. Okay. Yeah, so I got nothing there. So, how about this? What if... Alright. Double check that I did turn off. I didn't turn it back on, did I? Lava's off. Alright, what happens if I turn it back on? Nothing. I know. I'm just... <laughs> I'm just grasping his straws at this point. Yeah. Yeah, it just shows that as no contact. I see. Yeah. The platform, when it drops to the side there, but nothing there. Okay. So that's not the corporate. So we're going to knock that back out because that's just upsetting me. So lava. All right. So let me try this. Let me just go ahead and disable. It's because the horizontal ray casts are screwing with it. All right, just for the fun of it, I'm gonna kick that way out there. And still nothing. What, seriously? Put it back to where it was. My default, let's see my default was, yeah, 0.01. There it is. Okay. Okay, I had it at 0.01 to begin with. You saw I re reverted the value and that was 0.01, right? So, once again, I was trying to fix something else and broke that in the process. So, I think we're good now. Let's see. Yeah, I'm still taking my damage. All right. So, that, that Raycast offset was because it was too far away from the body. It was superseding the, uh, the collisions on the trigger start so now but then we don't see that one. Oh come on dude you just worked a second ago what did I do different here okay that one might be a setting that might be something where I have this set differently so let me check my values here all right okay so let's come back into where is that <clears throat> right so let's check our values here. So we say it is a trigger, right? And 
Let's see, second one is six. So we come up to six. Here's our bad boy right here. All right. Bingo is trigger. That's okay. So in my process, I turned that off, which made it no worky. There. Look at that. Beautiful. Contact damage. That's beautiful. Jerk. Oh, but it, wait. No, you're supposed to work now. No, you're killing me. Come on. I'm supposed to fix it. Unless there's something else that I missed. Let's see. Yeah. Wow. Oh, cool. Okay. So it's totally busted. That's good. That's good. I, it's not a side issue. It works on the... It, it, nothing. So that just means something's totally set wrong. That's actually good news in my book. Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, lava flow. No, set the lava. Right. Rigid body... Okay. So, that's all set. Lava. Lava. Oh, because I had to set the platform on the other one, didn't I? Oh, let me set. Okay. I'm getting inconsistent. I think that's my problem. So, let me come back to level one. Come back to here. And if we look, we're going to see it says lava and platforms. That's where I went off the rails. So let me turn that back on, try and get back to what I had before, and see if that's, we're still kosher. If not, I'll just switch them all to platforms. Okay, now it just goes through it now, right? Which is what we had before, which I'm actually okay with, except for that, which I'll have to correct. But, okay, check this out. So if I go ahead and, and cheat and actually label this, um, I'll turn that off. Vector. And if I come back in here and switch these from the proper layer to projects, uh, project, uh, projectiles, sorry, platforms, there. There. So he registers totally correctly. Okay, good. So that's what we're going to do with all these bad boys. So let me come back up to six. Hello. Thank you. And then we're going to switch lava flow from lava, lava to lava platform there all right should I kill him yeah now boom damage boom damage there it is that's what we gotta do so so for whatever reason when I set the layer up for uh, regular lava right it just kind of busts it up so but that's good so I just gotta remember that all these stupid levels, I gotta switch that back out uh, from lava lava to lava platform, and then we'll be good. So let me check. So it's um, you know what? Let me just go through here. Um, six two eight five. So that was six. Come back to two. Whoops, that's the old school, the older graphics. Two, and then let me check my lava. Yeah. So change this all a platform. Um, I could spend time and figure out why that actually does behave where it wasn't with the, the lava, but you know, <laughs> I could take the the idea of you know what it works. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it works. I'll figure it out later if I have to. But right now I'm just gonna kind of go. You know what? That's the sacrifice the chicken. It worked. Okay, we sacrifice the chicken. Just do it. Okay. So section two, that's good. Uh, three, lava. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Sorry. Let me also the offset one. Although actually, I don't think I can hit that one. But let me just be safe and make sure that I do that for uh, lava platforms. Lava platforms, good. Okay. That's two, three. Um. Right, and that is for those guys. That yeah. So switch from the platforms. Lava offset. Lava platforms. Good. All right. I can breeze through this. This will only take a second. Just make sure I'm doing the right ones. Yeah. Platforms. 
that's the only one I got there. So that's four, five. And offset for him. Oh, that's a lava flow. Um, no, actually, that should be lava. Is that a lava flow? That might be lava flow. Hold on. So the, the difference between lava and lava flow is lava, of course, is like on the ground. The flow would be like a stream, right? So if you hit that, I don't want it to stop the player. I want him to be able to fly through it, right? So let me just check. Oh, that's just edge. Okay, yeah, so. Yes, that is just lava. And that's what offsets, so that's why he was set that way. So change it back to platforms and he'll behave. And I'll push him into the forefront, like so. And then these guys. Platforms, good. Platforms, good. And then seven, I haven't even touched yet. I still gotta redo seven, but since I'm here, go to platforms. Eight. Nine. Switch that to platforms, almost there. And then ten, of course, they all have. Got off of old placeholder art right now. Platforms, good. Okay. So, let's play with this a little bit. Just make sure that the, uh, the lava contact is doing like we like. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, so we're all good, right? So now we have this bizarre mix of the, the final art and the gray box placeholder art. The, the lava itself, of course, is still... The, the placeholder, <clears throat> as well as the characters and the coins and the enemies. Boom. Yep, that's all good. But what's nice now, too, is that the, the line is kind of seamless. Um, although, having said that, I, there's a gap right there. i got to fix that one. Uh, you know, you can see, like, the space right here. That should actually connect. But by and large, you can't tell where the little sections end anymore, which is nice. So it, it feels much more like one giant continuous level which is what I was shooting for um, and the nice thing is is it'll be set up to be like randomized oh I'm still getting that wait well crap huh okay that's disappointing that's why I started the whole thing was because I was able to touch the middle of this thing briefly like that and take no damage okay wait a second let me come out of full screen and see if the log is actually telling me anything here. <clears throat> Alright. Nope. So I take damage there. I take damage there. Okay. So, that's bizarre. So if I'm actually touching it, <laughs> but I can do this... I. Maybe it's just something where I'm actually just... No, oh no, I just slid right up it. Look at that. That is bizarre. So it's like, uh, trigger enter is not actually firing, but obviously, uh, <clears throat> trigger stay is. I, I, that's my assumption. So, let's check that. All right, this is trigger enter. Hit. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so I say hit there. Is this stay? So I drop this to. And see if I can get a better understanding. Oh, crap. Wait. That was 10. Oh, oh, wait. Don't. It's going to throw me in million errors. Okay. I hate that. When you still got it playing and you do a compile and you just know it's going to freak out. Wait, why is it? Oh, because I got stay going right now. Let me turn stay off. That's um, only trigger it if it hits lava. So it's not going to do it a million times. Because obviously it's going to be in contact with something at all times. So that's not beneficial. 
All right, let me get back up there again. Here's our bad boy. Boom. All right, let me clear the logs. All right. Oh, that seemed like it did right from the start. Oh, there it is. All right. That's weird. Oh crap. You have to do it just right. There. So there you go. I just like ran up the wall, right? The whole way. And I don't know. Okay, I, okay, so here's the question. Do I say it's a bug? Or do I say it's a feature, right? Maybe if it's one of those things, it, it's, you know, maybe the little guy is able to, like, you know, the proverbial, you know, fire, walk, fire walkers, right? That, you know, you can, like, walk on hot coals if you just do it quickly. You know, sometimes you get away with it, sometimes you don't. Like that? Hmm. <laughs> that's an interesting choice. Do I say no? That's what I intended it to be. Of course, I have to like delete this entire video, right? This conversation never happened. You guys never saw this bug. This is never a bug. It was always a feature. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Uh, go ahead and just uh, look into the the little pin here for a second. Oh, crap, wrong one. Ugh. Hold on. There you go. Okay, so. All right, we'll try that. I'm gonna leave it as is, and it's one of those things that I'll consider to say, come back to it kind of concept, I think. I mean, it's not a deal breaker. I mean, if anything, you want it to be in the player's favor, right? It's not a, it's not a bug, it's a feature. 104% certified game dev, there you go. I'm always about giving the 104% right there. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um, I, yeah, I'll just, I'll see if it comes up, if it rears this ugly head in other places, and I'll think about addressing it then, but... But yeah, so I'm like contacting there, and boom, I'm, I'm taking damage, right? And on top, so it's just, it, and it's really specific. Whoa, that was an interesting little bouncer. Did I have... Okay, now this is something that, okay, I don't know if you guys noticed that, like when I did a jump, it did like a little pop-up. I don't know if I can even replicate it now. It's just such a very specific thing. And I can tell you exactly where that probably came from, but oh, it's because, let me come out of here. Let's see. All right. Um, where am I? Let's see if I can show this. Yeah, so here is my collision for these sprites, right? You can see the green line. It's really faint, but yeah, I don't even know if it translates into where you guys are watching, but, you know, but I want it to be, like, sort of exact, right? right. Oh, one sec, guys. Okay, um, so... Unfortunately, the tools here, uh, let me, I'll go in. The, the tools are not as good as I'd like for this, right? So let me come into images. <sighs> Where's my tiles? Uh, underground tiles, here we go. So here's our sprite editor, right? And this is what I don't like. Um, if we come into the custom physics, right? We can see this, right? And so if we come up to some of this other stuff, like here, right? So this is our position, here's our pivot point, and all this kind of stuff. And you have all this beautiful detailed information down here, right? So you can get really precise. But once you come into custom physics, right? And obviously I wanted to do something like this where it kind of goes into it so that the character overlaps a little bit, right? So I kind of customize this. But here's the catch. I don't know where this point is in point in space, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So 
this is where I think it's biting me, right? Um, I need for like all of the, the walls that face like left, I need for all these points to be precise because if there's even one pixel is off, right? It will completely, just completely piss off Unity, right? And I think you saw that, right? That pop up. I'm sure that's the culprit because I've had it fine for a while and I've seen none of that happen. But trying to track down, you know, the imprecision is a pain because, I mean, you have to try and get, what are you going to key off of, right? You know, the best you can do is to come into the editor, right, and just throw them in a row like so. So if I do like, uh, oops, wait, wait, wait. Let me actually come into the right layer, base ground. There it goes. Yeah. So come in here and I'll drop this one this one there and then this is all three of my edges right and then I'll do the other side as well since I'm here the varying edges like that right can I zoom in yeah all right so then what you have to do is like look and see if that green line you know if there's any separation there and it looks perfect to me right but then we still saw that pop Right, so it has to be one of these guys as the culprit. And that's precise, right? And he's down there. So unless it's like one of the other combos. So if I put him there. Let's see. No. I mean that looks like it's pixel perfect. Um or unless that could be another thing too, is the fact that I'm using um let me clear these guys out for one second and then let me come back into one of my levels there you go like so all right so um yeah so you can see i got all the nice little collider boxes and even though i have tons of tiles right they're all consolidated because i'm using that nifty little script if i could find the right one there you go uh, composite Collider 2D, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. But here's the rub about it, is the fact that sometimes when you make changes and updates, sometimes it doesn't pick up on it, right? So you have to do this. You have to go uh, remove and then put it back on. Just like so, right? And it snaps back. But it's one of the things that I don't know if I've got that updated in all my levels or not, but no, actually that was two. I think that balanced. Yeah, it was this one. So two should be fine. So I'm going to zoom all the way in. <clears throat> Unless, no, it couldn't have hit. It was down here, right? So, yeah, I mean, I see no separation there. That looks like a straight line to me. So I'm not sure. Actually, now that I look at it, I have no idea why it popped up. I don't know why it did that. I mean, it's not often. You know, but it does happen sometimes. And it makes me want to drop bombs on everyone there. There you go, guys. Have some bombs. All right. <clears throat> Why do I care? <laughs> I got endless health. All right. So, yeah, that all makes sense. Oh, wait. So it wasn't this one. It was over here. Yeah, it's this guy. Go away. So I did it over here. Let me go back to full screen. I'll try one more time, see if I can replicate that. Nope, so that's me just bouncing off the top there. Nope. Nope. So, of course, I'm never gonna replicate it, but that's a good thing. I guess that's a good thing. <clears throat> All right, and then now we come up to a level that has the old graphics. And one of the things I can't wait to get rid of is that separation there, right? That drives me nuts. I hate that. That's been a bane of my existence. You know, just the way the tiles meet. And now that I'm dropping them in manually, I'm able to, to fix that. Uh, I think I was talking about before, I'm using the rule tile, right, to help expedite drawing out the, the 2D tiles. But I think if you have it laid out well, like this is, right, I think this might be faster in some ways because the rule tile ties you in that you know you have to always obey the, obey the rules unless you create a secondary rule override 
but then that kind of gets a little more confusing and glitchy sometimes. So the irony is the fact that a rule tile is great to just bang the, the, the stuff out, but you know, sometimes when you go, wait, I want this to be different, rule tile goes no, <laughs> you know. So I've actually just been skipping rule tile and just laying the stuff out manually, and I think it actually works better. Um, and also because like um, when I have like these three tiles that all face the same direction, right? If I'm doing rule tile, it's just gonna lay down one. I can do uh, randomize, but it's gonna randomize on its own, and sometimes I'm not gonna like the pattern. And if I want to tweak it, I have no simple way of overriding the rule tile. So for me, I like actually just doing this manually. It may take a little bit longer, but I, I think the results end up being better as a result. As a result of the results. All right. So let's see where. I'm, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this guy and start doing some update. Of the graphics out with the old and with the new but I think I'll actually do a quick restroom break first so you guys hang tight I'll give you one more round of bombs to keep you briefly preoccupied there you go all right guys hang tight I'll be back in just a sec all right thanks All right, and we're back. Okay, so the goal now is to start going back to some of these levels and update for the, get rid of the old placeholder stuff and drop in the new graphics. So here's how I'm doing this approach. Start off with creating a new tile map and call this platforms. All right. <clears throat> All right, so this one is just pretty straightforward. Right, you just got a big old chunk there, which I'm gonna put some holes in there just to make it a little more interesting. All right, so first things first, 
we start with this and oh yeah why why does it always default to 0.5 i don't understand that i always have to change that I'm not sure why that's a good idea but there it is okay Oop. and let's put him up to 11 so he is visible and just start by just going through all this crap and <clears throat> I do this just so I can see it's sort of like the artist where they do like the base coat right and then I'll go back and start adding the stuff on top of it at first I was like doing all the little specific pieces right from the get-go and I just found out that this is a little bit easier to manage so this way oops erase like that Got a piece up there there we go and we're good all right <clears throat> and then what I'll do is drop in a couple pieces from there like that all right so now I can actually start doing it Sorry. Tech support stuff. Hang hang tight guys. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, tech support over. <laughs> I'm back at it. Okay. So. Okay. Alright, so drop this in. And then. What's that? Z Doctor! Hey, hey, what's up, buddy? Welcome back, man. Hey. Yep. Yeah, I took a bit of a. Took a bit of a step back, but I'm back at it again. How you doing, man? What's new with you? You still plugging away? I know you. I, I saw recently you did the uh, um, one of the uh, the gaming um, game jams. How did they go, man? Didn't get a chance to see if uh, if you're able to follow through. Let's see. Uh, that. I haven't been streaming in a while that much. <clears throat> uh, I did do that, yeah. How did that go? How did that go? I mean, I, I always want to do... Um, yeah, I always want to do, like, those those game jams, but it's just time is not my friend, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, scoot that up just a little bit. All right, so, yeah, I think that'll work. So... If Come over here, do like so. Um, I finished, and it was pretty well received, I think. Oh, that's awesome, man. Congrats on that. Um, that's cool. Um, how, so how long was the actual... Was that... Uh, I, I never can say it right, so I'm going to try. Was that the uh, one of the dare ones? There you go. That's the way I can say it without looking stupid, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I I've heard it pronounced like five different ways, and none of them are the same. 
uh, Ludum Dare, 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 <laughs> Ludum Dare, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, whatever it is, <laughs> that thing, you know, just call that thing, the Game Jam, the Game Jam, there you go, just call it the Game Jam, everyone knows, right? So what I do is I just generally flush it out with the same one and then I come back and paint in the variations so I can break it up. <clears throat> I say Dare like don't to drugs kids uh, kind of, oh dare, dare. Yeah, so th there you go. Uh, because I mean, I was, I was I put an L in there originally so I was calling like Ludlum Dare or something originally, right? And then it's like, no, there's no L in there. Um, so, uh, Ludum Dare, Ludum Dare, whatever it is, the LD, you know, the LD Game Jam, there you go, as opposed to the LSD Game Jam, which is an entirely different affair, everyone has a good time, but they have no recollection of it, <laughs> it's a Game Jam that just keeps going for a while, you know, you think you're done, and then suddenly you have a flashback to the Game Jam, alright, so you see, it's pretty simple stuff, right, just kind of drop it in place, and... You know, it's just, it's nice because I can, uh, <laughs> I love the LSD jam, man. It's like, the thing about the LSD jam is just like, it's, it's so many colors, man. It's just like so many pretty colors. <laughs> yep. So this is what I'm talking about. I, I like having control over here versus having the random do it for me. So I can sort of like, because, I mean, randomize is just randomizing, right? And... You know, once you look at it in context, sometimes it just doesn't look good and you want to go back and actually tweak it a little bit more, right? And it's just with, once you start using the rules, right, it's, it's hard to override it quickly and simply. So that looks pretty good. Like so. There you go. Like that. And then drop in the corner here like that. And then... I'm just going to go all the way across with the one and then just sort of like trick it out with variations like that. And something I'm not doing, um, something I can do is, is flip it like this, right? Now, the only reason I'm hesitant about doing this, and the nice thing is because you get a little variation, right? You get a little more variation. But the catch, though, is because I want to use uh, normal maps with this, I'm not sure how that's going to get affected once I start introducing the normal maps. So, as for the time being, I'm sort of like laying off the concept of doing any spins on them and just leave them as is. Um, once I start dialing in some normal maps for the lighting, then I'll figure out if that's actually a viable thing or if I have to just leave it as is. So, like that. Throw in one about here, here, and here, and then this guy here. Especially this one, because he has that big old deep tooth, right? That definitely sticks out. So I, I would love to, like, spin this a couple times and just have some variations. But until I do some tests, I'm a little hesitant on that. Like that. All right. And then, oh, yeah, of course, this one still goes up like so. All right. Do, like, one here and there. Good. Right, so that's that section. That's all nice and broken up, right? It's subtle, but there's still some randomness to it. Let me add a little variation there. <clears throat> this one, and then do one here. There. So just really quick and dirty, but you know, it just it breaks it up so you don't see quite the same pattern the whole way through. Like that. Good royalty friendly tunes. Alright. Like that. Then this one obviously kind of dictate on what I can and can't do here. Like so. Alright. And then I'll mix this up. Actually, normally what I like to do is normally I, I start with this one just because this is like the smallest, uh, flattest pattern. And even if you had just like that, it looks okay, you know? I mean, it, 
this to me looks more tolerable than that does. That one really screams, you know, out. But if I leave it like that and then just sort of kiss in the larger ones, I think that plays better. So, and end up having more of the base one, right, the smaller one, and just, you know, spice in a few of the, the more curvy ones. Seems to work well for me. Um, actually, you know what, I want to change that to this guy. There you go. So, the ramped edge there, and then flat edge at the top. Um, oh, so here's an, here's an issue. This is like what I was talking about. Uh, so, I need another tile here, because I'm in that point where I'm doing like the one, right? Um, I guess the simple way I could fix it is just drop this like that, right? <clears throat> and then like so, and like so. There. Now it's fixed, but now I've had to add an extra tile in there because, you know, m the tile set right now is designed specifically for at least two thicknesses, right? It's just there's no room for just a one thickness. <clears throat> Excuse me, which I think I'm going to address that in some of the later levels. Because I, I want some of those, especially like in the jungle thing, I definitely want those to be like just a one platform thick. So I'll have to have a few more variations. But I think at least for this first section, I think it'll be fine. I don't think anyone's going to complain. Hopefully you're going to be buzzing through the levels so fast that it's just not even going to be a consideration. <clears throat> oh, yep. There you go. There's more waiting for you, right there. Right when you landed, just boom, right in your face. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So, I'd say that's pretty good right there. So what I can do now is come back in here and just add a little play in here. And, oh, what I can do now is go ahead and turn off the old tiles. So it makes it a little cleaner. There he goes. And, oops. So, yeah, just like that, and then add little corners and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> be gone work. Are they bugging you again? Yeah, that'd be great if you could go ahead and come in. Yeah. stuff in oh you finished the document oh, oh 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 right right that you were yeah that you were setting up before I remember that gotcha wait so you're doing that like on your own time you are dedicated man or are you just at work and you're just still watching the stream which would be cool <laughs> I'm fine with that I see no problem with that whatsoever this is educational-ish nah nah to which part Let's see. Let me do an angle. Don't want an angle here. That'd look cool. <clears throat> uh, it wouldn't be the first time I watch your stream from work. <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm flattered. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So we're almost done with this. A little bit here so just spruce this up a little bit more uh, for this doc it's easier for me to do do it from home why you just because you got people second guessing you when you're trying to put it together or just you're gonna get answer with are uh, you gonna get pepper with other questions that you just don't want to deal with and you just the silence is golden which is a movie thing right you like that you like how I, I like brought it around Oh, dual monitors. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. I'm all about that. I I got, like, the massive, like, 21 by 9 right in front of me, and I still got one off to the side as well. So, you know, I totally get that. Yeah. I mean, like, whenever I go to, like, uh, a meeting, I do a presentation, I bust out the laptop, and I got, like, the nice. It's, like, it's a nice laptop. It's a little old, but it's, like, 17, 18 inch, right? Which is, for laptop, that's pretty good, right? But as soon as I start working and trying to do a presentation, it's kind of like, I can't see anything. My, <laughs> you know, the windows are just like so small. I can't even tell what the heck I'm doing. <clears throat> Walk and talk in new angle T-shirt. That is not great. That's true. Looking fresh. How are you? Doing well, man. How's it going? Welcome back. Yeah, I finally, uh, I finally climbed out of the dungeon and made it back in front of the old streaming cam. Um, yeah, 
so this is a new webcam. I, re I replaced my $20 one with one that was worth a little bit more. I, it's still pretty cheap, but finally upgraded that bad boy. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then I was playing with it, and it's like, because I also got like a little stand, right? So the monitor is physically higher. And then it's just like, at a certain point, it got to the, it felt like the, the camera's just like this top down, like security camera. So then I decided to move it down, see if that works. So there you go. You get the, I get the snooty thing going, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I bring my laptop with me on days where I need a second display. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Uh, not staying for too long as it is just about 2 a.m. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. I know I, I pushed the time later. Um, it's just kind of a better fit for me at the moment to start. For me, it's 3 in the afternoon and I'm going to 6. So it's just, it allows me to get more stuff done in the day before uh, I start jumping in with you guys. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, dude, I mean, I understand, man. Uh, you know, 2 a.m., dude, <laughs> you're hardcore. But yeah, I'm glad you're able to come by and say hello again and see that I still got a pulse, which is always good. <clears throat> uh, you first viewers uh, later, I will try and check in on you as often as I can. Got it, man. I appreciate it. Go get yourself some rest, man. 2 a.m. That's that's hardcore. Uh, I also do the poster ordering from home as well. <laughs> you got to figure out some way to bill for that time, man. Or is it just not even worth trying to ask for because then they say do it here and then it's just a bigger headache. <clears throat> Later, man. Walk and talk, man. Glad you made it back again. Happy to be around again. So take care of yourselves. Have a, have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. For sure. <clears throat> and maybe I'll do an angle for this one too. That'd be kind of cool. But uh, yeah, you see, I mean, even with this, it's even though I'm doing it manually, it's it's still pretty quick. You know, I mean, the, and the longer I do this, the more I kind of like don't even think about it. I just remember where all the pieces are. You know, so it's not quite as fast as just doing a pure rule version, but you know, I it still allows me to do this, right? To go back in and you know just do quick simple tweaks without having to fight the script <clears throat> excuse me so add a little more variation here and we should be good there you go <clears throat> excuse me and I have auto save on so this is getting saved the whole time which is good all right so that's good for the foreground now the next trick is to add the background layer and then the key thing for the background layer is that whenever I have coins in there I want the background is just sort of like drape, so the coins can hang on that, as you were seeing before, right? So, we'll just start with a 2D new tile. Call it. Just call it background. That's good enough. Um, oh, while I'm here, let me think about this, too. Let me set this up correctly. Because I'll forget, and then the character will just pass right through it, <laughs> which is never a good thing. All right. <clears throat> so, we're going to call this, of course... Uh, Platforms, if I can find it. Hello, why am I not seeing it? Platforms, right in front of me. And then platform should be right there. There. All right. So then we gotta add the tile collider, so we get all that. And then this is what I was talking about. So I mean, this insane amount of colliders right now, and you see how it breaks stuff up, right? Excuse me. But we have the simple fix by just going composite done and then we switch that to static which if I forget to do that it's kind of funny that the level just slides away which is not good all right but that's all we need so now at this point oh then we gotta tell it to use it so used by composite and there it is so now we just get that one slick giant piece of collision which is good and as a result the, the draw calls are like nothing I mean I mean well, okay, this is a bad example, set pass calls, but just let me show you this. Check this out real quick. So even if I come up here, right, set pass calls, I'm at seven. I'm at seven right now. That's just awesome. I love that, man. So even if I come up in here, right, we have a couple of enemies, right? I'm at, I'm up to nine. <laughs> I'm up to nine draw calls. That's just awesome. I mean, it looks this pretty, right? And that's literally just nine draw calls. So there is... When someone says, why would you want to use tiles? There's a, there's a gre great reason right there, man. Nine draw calls. Okay. So. <clears throat> excuse me. All right. 
up a little. I'm going to bring him up forward so he sticks out a bit more. And then background. So what I do with background, just to make life easier for me, I momentarily cheat. And I push up to like 15 so the background goes on top so I can see what I'm doing better, easier. And switch all to 1 again because Unity keeps saying 0.5 for tile defaults. Why? Seriously, why? All right, background. And then now we're going to switch. And then I have this one. So you can see here, right? You can see this is basically just a uh, desaturated uh, version of this. Um, by and large, that's what I did. I, I lowered the contrast significantly, right? So you can see there's pretty across the board simplistic kind of stuff. I didn't adjust these, so they actually stick out a bit more, right? So I dial it down, right? But then what I do then is once I come in and I start doing a little piece like this, is I'll drop it in and then... I'll come up here and I'll change the color, right? Which I can go back after the fact and go back into Photoshop and adjust this to match that color so I don't have to do the tinting, but I don't mind it. I kind of like that, you know, and that gives me the option of also playing with it that I can dynamically change the tint in real time as well. So for right now, I'm just going to leave it as is. So let me see what I need here. So I, I wanted to cover those guys and maybe drop down there and then kind of like maybe drop like that, right? And then I, I love doing this, you know, I, I like having it sort of like be at this cave edge, right? That's in the back there. <clears throat> and yeah, definitely this. So this is, let's see, how do I want to do this? Maybe like down like that. So it kind of ties into him. And then one up here, like so. Just like that. That should be good. Alright, and then definitely want to play with this. This gives us some nice opportunities. So let's just do something fun. Do that. There you go. That should be good. Alright, now we just gotta clean it up. Throw the edges around it. Alright. Like so. And then tell you what, I'll do it like this. And then make it a hard edge here. And then like that. Bring it back. Oops. Bring it back up again. And maybe go diagonal up here a little bit. Yeah, what the heck? I'll just go the whole way. <clears throat> make that an edge. So I'm just kind of arbitrarily doing this stuff, right? I mean, if I don't like it, I can always come back and tweak it with no problem. All right, like that. All right, zoom in a little bit. I wish I could do something where I could like do this, but then you know, I had this before where I, I set up like a special version, but whenever you go in full screen, you lose the tile, right? And you could do this weird thing where you break it off into a separate, uh, window but it's just too much of a pain uh all right let's see this what is a smoke poof um what do you think this smoke poof effect needs um right now i think it's speed i mean i i don't know the context right i don't know when you'd actually see that i mean that's you know that that looks like the original star wars the death star blowing up kind of thing you know so for like a big old planet i get it but if it's something like you know someone taking a hit it seems like the frame rate would be a little bit faster um i guess the the thing that jumps out of me is the uniformity right is because you have i have no way of pausing this of course um you you have like these four quadrants right and you have those uh four kind of uh ripples coming off of them all in the same kind of way um if you know and then and you have like all four of them kind of going into separate dots right i i so i guess my key thing would be to say like if there's any way to add some randomness to it right because right now it just it looks like it's perfect diamond separation kind of thing uh i was thinking for using it for old black powder type weapons like a musket or whatever yeah well I, okay if, if, so if it's a firing a weapon i i think it definitely have to be faster right um yeah i don't know if that's a situation where you can adjust the frame rate or if you had had i hate to say this but lose frames to make it go faster 
but um well and then if it's a musket firing unless it's i mean if it's firing in like a, a left or right direction then I, I think you'd want it to sort of like come out like that versus because this looks like it's being shot straight towards us right or away but you know once again i don't have the, the context i mean art is nice i like the art by the way i mean i mean i, I should have started off with that you know i like the motion i like the animation uh, let me try to make it faster okay but yeah i mean the art is yeah the art looks great man it's all about the 8-bit yeah cool all right so let me come back into this bad boy all right like so boom boom around all right and then yeah for this one i also because it has the potential of kind of sliding above or below and i don't know what levels are going to be adjacent to it so i just round off the edges so in case it does sort of like extend beyond um that way it, you don't see like a you know like a sharp edge i want to avoid that all right so Think. Let's see. Actually, I want to add a little more here. Like so. Like that. There it goes. And then I can, like, just toss that in there. In that one little gap. Um, Alright, so here I got the, the one cube situation again. So, simplest way is just to... Just do something like that, and that'll fix it. Oops, if I do the right one. There it goes. Good. Um, I think I want to, okay, I want to break this up a little bit. So I'll just put a little more here. Like that. Yeah. Alright, so that's done. And let's see. I'll just do a piece like this. So. Yeah, it's. I mean, at a certain point, I, I, I guess I've just been lazy about doing the, the rule tile version. Um, it, it may make this a little faster. But, I don't know. I, it's just because once you start getting into the overrule kind of stuff, it just gets really convoluted. And I, I don't know if it's truly worth the trade-off or not. So, in the meantime, I'll just keep doing it this way. I mean, this is still pretty peppy, don't you think? Yeah. Um... Okay, this is something I try and avoid, is like a, a tangent here, right, where they're, you know, the foreground and the background are right at the same. Um, so, for this one, I may actually push him a bit, for at least this, do it that way. Like so. Maybe there. Yep, that's good. <laughs> uh oh i just got raided with a party of 17 wow welcome guys how's it going welcome welcome wow man thanks for the raid look at that welcome how's it going welcome folks <laughs> hey so how's it going all right so i guess i gotta do a quick little uh demo of what's going on here all right so this is a platform game that I've been working on for a few weeks. Um, what you're seeing is sort of like a game in total transition at this point. Uh, the, the tile that you see right now is final art. Um, yep, there you go, making a prototype. Well, yeah, we're, we're beyond prototype at this point. At this point, we're starting to flesh things out. But, uh, so the character is, and I hate to do this, I've been teasing for forever. The character is actually gonna be based on, hey, Navy Mine did a follow. Thank you, Navy Mine. 
Appreciate that, man. Thanks a lot. So this is going to be an arcade game. Uh, it's going to be desktop as well as uh, mobile. And uh, the character that you see here, this little guy, um, this is placeholder, of course. This is just temp art. But the character is going to be based on a pretty famous intellectual property, which I haven't actually announced yet. But I'm going to be going to E3 in a, in a couple of weeks. Going to be uh, pitching in around there. And then once I finish up there, I'm going to come back and actually publicly talk about what this whole game is truly about, which I'm looking forward to. Um, so it's the idea is that the character gets caught where he shouldn't be and finds himself uh, tossed down into the core of a planet, which is where we start right there in, in this lava type planet, right? And you see you got wall jumps, you have double jumps and that kind of stuff. And uh, right now the lava is placeholder, the character is placeholder, the tiles that you see are finished art. So Messy Codebot is now following. Thank you, Messy Codebot. Thanks for the follow. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> This is great, man. For, starts off with a raid and I get a couple of follows. That's awesome. So um, what you're seeing here, of, of course, this is 2D, right? And let me switch out here. Let me come back out. Um, and obviously using, there you go. Obviously using Unity. Let me deselect that. There you go. <laughs> beep, beep. All right. So um, there you go. Let me celebrate. Wow, that's a ton of people. Here you go. I'll let everyone fly for a second. There you go, guys. All right, so this gives you a better sense. Uh, obviously, it's 2D, but I'm doing a little uh, parallax cheating, right? So you can see there's a scroll going on here, right? So if I let go, right, I have a mid-ground and a background. The background is still temp, by the way. Uh, my artist guy is going to be doing a new version for that, right? But I got a little bit of a parallax. And the nice thing is you can see the coins, once again, placeholders as well. Mantis, WTF, is now following. Thank you, Mantis, man. Appreciate it. Wow. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Um, so the coin, which I just collected there, you can see is kind of hanging on the mid-ground piece, which is a nice way of kind of showing some depth. Uh, the enemy here is obviously placeholder as well, right? And an no animation yet, which is the irony is the fact that actually I'm an animator, right? Animation is my, my key thing. That's what I've been doing for decades, right? But uh, right now, there's no animation. So the game kind of looks bad in that sense. But... Uh, yeah, so here you go. So you can actually see the coin is kind of like moving separately from the foreground, right? Which is kind of a cool touch, right? So the idea is you're going to work your way up, right? And then kind of in the same vein of like a downwell or a Spelunky, right? But with the exception of the levels are actually kind of pre-made, right? Uh, they'll be pre-made, but appearing randomly in random order and also flop sometimes, right? So the, the idea is that every time you play the game, you're going to still feel it's pretty fresh, right? And ultimately, there's going to be four worlds, you know, just like Spelunky and Downwell, right? We're going to have like four different worlds that you're going to progress. You're going to start in the core of the planet and you're going to work your way up and hopefully make it back up to the spaceship, right? Um, and then each world will have like four segments in it, right? So there'll be plenty to dig through. Uh, you guys should... Uh, um, hey, Dragon Rift... <laughs> <laughs> Proto Poly, I'm gonna get that right. I gotta say that correctly. Did a follow as well. Thank you, thank you, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate the follow. All right, and then um, yeah, I can see I'm taking hits right here. I have the health turned off right now. I got like God mode, so I can test this out properly. But uh, you guys should have told me you were coming. <laughs> I made me and hot dogs. See, I told you, man. You should have made more. I I asked you. I asked you when you said you were making hot dogs. Did you bring enough for everybody? See, now I'm so disappointed in you. <laughs> it's never too late. <laughs> all right. And this is the level I was working on just when you guys showed up, which is why it looks all butchered, right? So I have the, the mid-ground actually there in the foreground at the moment. You brought beers. There you go. Pass them around. Unless you're not legal. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Guess I got to go back to the store to get some more. There you go, man. And get some burgers. Actually, I'm more of a burger guy anyways. I didn't want to say that, but um, yeah, I could use burgers over hot dogs anyways. Or, you know, if you're going to be on the grill, forget the burgers. Let's go for class, man. Give me some steaks. Come on, man. We got a whole crew here. <laughs> there you go. Give me some steaks. All right. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, excuse me, you guys can feel free to shout it out. Uh, <laughs> boogers. <laughs> Give me some boogers. Boogers, man. Give me some boogers. Uh-oh. Um, let's put them on the grill. Uh-oh. Do I, do I not want to see this? Oh, there you go. <laughs> drinks on the barbie there you go all right so as i was saying if you guys have any questions if you want to uh, ask me about the game in particular um this 
actually will mark game number seven for me. Uh, I've been doing this for quite a while now. So, I mean, but I, and obviously you can tell I use Unity as my weapon of choice. Um, and this is when I've only been at this, this game about, about a little over a month, month and a half now. Uh, seen any good films on the hiatus? <laughs> Hannibal wants to go to the movie stuff. All right. Um, no. Honestly, I haven't. Um, well, honestly, because at this point, I'm in screener season, right? So I, I have the good fortune of being a member of the Television Academy because I worked on a TV show uh, at this point, God, 16 years ago, that got an Emmy nomination. So I don't have cable television. I just wait, and every year around this time, I get like all the TV shows sent to me in the mail. So I've been watching a whole bunch of TV compressed <laughs> into a very finite time uh, on the computer, of course. So I've watched a, a bunch of new TV shows, you know, in between here and there. But, um, yeah, not much from movies. Um, did Endgame. Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought Endgame was a lot of fun. I thought it was a, a loving, solid way to wrap up the whole series. So I thought that was a lot of fun. Uh, did you get the rookie? Um, you know what? I haven't gotten ABC yet. I, ABC has not shown. I think rookie is on ABC, isn't it? ABC has not shown up yet, which I'm really upset about because, um, you know, there's some, uh, I was teary at Endgame. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, a lot. Of, yeah. It's, it's funny. I, I, I've had friends early. Like, come, it's like, I can't even think about it. Every time I think about it, I, I start crying again. Yeah. It was pretty. It was, you know, you know, I love you 3000. I mean, that, that's just, that's so pretty, man. That's just so beautiful. Uh, it was nice seeing, uh, Brie Larson. Uh, last an entire 12 seconds against Thanos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, if you think about it, man, that's a heck of a hard thing to do, right? To think about, you have an entire series of movies, right? I mean, it was up to what? I think it's like, what did they say, like 20 or something like that? If you count all the, the offshoots. And you got to resolve everything cleanly, right? And feel like, you know... You, but you still got to have all the action in there. You got to like do callbacks, right? Which is their their mechanism. Some people don't like the mechanism they used, but I love the callbacks just because it allowed them to drift into previous films in a natural way, you know. And I I, I give them kudos for that, man. I I just I thought it was it was a lot of fun, man. And it, three hours long, and I stayed glued to my seat the whole time, right? I'm currently uh, coding a cross between R type and 1942. Battle for Midway. Oh, nice. That's sweet. Uh, so, uh, Dragon Fit, uh, Dragon Rift. Uh, so, what weapon of choice are you using? Are you rolling your own? Or are you using uh, Unity, Unreal, or uh, Game Maker, or something? Something similar. Also, if you have, uh, you know, if you have a screenshot or something you want to show, man, I'm, I'm all open. If you guys want to promote stuff you're working on, I'm happy to share as well. Um, all right, so where did I leave off on, what was that, was that six? Nope. That was, oh, five, I gotta add the backgrounds for that, too. Um, that was eight, wasn't it? I'm gonna bounce over to eight. There he is. All right. So, yeah, just about done with this guy. So let me finish. So I'm in the, the arduous task of shifting from the placeholder art, and my artist that I'm working with uh, got me these beautiful tiles. Excuse me, as you can see here, right? So I'm just starting to drop those into the levels now. So, a little bit of an arduous task, but uh, totally worth it in the end. Um, oops, let me make sure I got the right thing selected. Excuse me. Like so. There it goes. Oh, excuse me. Uh, sorry, I did not hear you. My headset fell off as you were responded. I was saying that uh, if you have any screenshots, any in-progress stuff that you'd like to share, uh, I'm totally open to doing that. Um, I am a totally supportive kind of guy that loves seeing what everyone else is working on because, you know, I'm a gamer, man. I'm, I'm just a gamer that has fun making games as well, so uh, I love sharing. So, if you have anything you want to talk about, show, um, I'm totally open to letting everyone else see it um yeah that was it it's coded in bolt uh that matter oh okay wait wait uh bolt as in bolt the thing that uh unity has 
I'm familiar with that's uh, is that uh, exit games the the photon guys right is that their thing um, yeah, visual scripting yes yeah yeah um, yeah absolutely dude that counts man I'm not one of those things that I'm not one of those people that says it has to be coded this that and the other if it's not done then it doesn't feel like legit game making dude you know come on you know uh, uh, Minecraft was flash right <laughs> you know whatever weapon works right whatever tool works and if it makes an engaging game if it's a fun game then you win man then it's not coded <laughs> uh oh uh oh gloves come off man uh oh now it's serious <laughs> so yeah no I have no qualms with that whatsoever yeah bolt of visual scripting yeah I played with um, I, I, I think that is exit games I, I played with photon a while back uh, for my last game when I was trying to decide which kind of tool I want to use for my online multiplayer stuff but um, yeah I and I'm, I've seen it but I haven't actually toyed with it but no that's cool dude absolutely um, uh, oh, oh, got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, a bolt is something entirely on its own then, right? Or is, a, a, or is bolt something that's integrated with Unity? I'm sorry, I was just trying to clarify. Uh, oh, but it confuses me. They use the same name. Got it. Okay. Slow, but I get there eventually. Yep. Understood. Yeah, I mean, so anyone that, like, you know, says otherwise. Wait, did I totally mess that up? No, that was right. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, especially, like, someone that goes, you know, no, man, that's not, like, real game making. I use Unreal, right? Wait, use Blueprint? Yeah. How's that different? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's Unreal, man. No. I, it, just whatever you can make good results, and you can make a game that's fun to play. That's all that matters, right? Who cares? Right? That's the way I look at it. I use Unity just because I've been using Unity at this point literally for a decade now. So, uh, use machine code. <laughs> Below the Stone is beyond hardcore. <laughs> so, yeah, for me, it's just because, I mean, at this point, you know, Unity is just my bread and butter just because I'm not a programmer, right? I mean, I, 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 I'm self-taught and do enough that I can get the game done, but... You know, it's just because I've been toying with this stupid program for so long that I can actually even make it kind of work. Messy code, you're out. Okay. Uh, mo more money on the SS tour than I'm off to bed. <laughs> Messy code, thanks for coming by, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for the follow as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can do assembly? Wow. Jeez, dude. Yeah, I, I'm old enough that I've, you know, I've been around it, but I've just, I've never really pursued it. But, I mean, for me, it's like I always wanted to play with game development, you know, but I, I've just never really gotten into the idea of hardcore learning a proper language. Um, you know, I mean, I toyed with it a bunch of years ago. Uh, the closest I came to really jumping in earlier was uh, when Blitz Basic came around, right? If you, any of you guys remember Blitz Basic, um, I actually wrote a game for it, like, oh, God, at this point over 15 years ago, 16, 17 years ago, uh, that I was doing on the PC that I ended up recycling and doing on uh, mobile later. Uh, I came from robotics to game development. Uh, use the big boy words. <laughs> well, so for me, I actually came from Hollywood. I, I, I worked as an animator. Uh, actually, I still do work as an animator uh, on some freelance work every now and then. But uh, So I did that for a bunch of years, and then I just sort of toyed with the idea of making a game. But it wasn't until Unity and originally another one called Stone Trip, the Shiva 3D engine, that I was able to sort of like really play honestly and think about, hey, I could actually make a finished game here, right? And that's when I really started pursuing it uh, more realistically. Uh, I came from the basement. <laughs> and obviously you're here with us now, which means that you successfully chewed through the chains again. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, which one do I need? I need that one. All right, so I think that's pretty good. I should probably clean this up. I don't know if any of this would ever actually get seen, but just in case, I will do this. <clears throat> uh, I never even knew uh, who you 
are till uh, Messi rated too. <laughs> well, I mean, in fairness though, I mean, I, I've been I started streaming back last October, but I did take some time off uh, for a few weeks, so uh, I have been sort of like on a bit of a hiatus for a while. Um, but yeah, I finished my last game, and then I, I just took a little brief time off when I started ramping up for this one. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if you, if you have any. Uh, again, <laughs> uh, yeah. If you have any questions or anything you want to talk about in general, I'm, I'm totally open, man. But um, yeah, I am sort of like the one of those one man wrecking crews. Although in this case, actually, I'm starting to branch out. Um, my game will be on Steam. Oh, cool! Very cool, man. Yeah, I've been mobile all up to this point, but this game is gonna be uh, focused on desktop as well as mobile. But um, yeah, I mean. So if you yeah if you got a link for what's out there, I'd be happy to show it to the masses. Um, oh, will be sorry, I, I I missed the will, will be I missed that part. Sorry, you going to Steam with it? Yeah. So then that'd be my follow up question. That below the stone beat me too. What's uh what's your development schedule look like? There he goes. Um, you know what? I can't see crap because of the stupid gizmo. Yeah, that is busted. Let me fix that one. All right. Is that everybody? Nope, nope. Got one more stupid section down here. And then this one we can mark done. Yeah, so that's the uh, the one you're talking about, the crossover, the 1942 crossover one. There you go. Boom, boom. All right. So, any of you Unity guys out there, you know that this is like Unity's new and improved uh, 2D tile set, which the paint hasn't dried. I mean, there's still some stuff that's really quirky about it, but by and large, man, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, let's see. Soon, I hope. I lost my job from cancellation of NAFTA? Oh, wow. Okay, sorry to hear that, dude. Oh man, that's okay. Well, I mean, that's good news about the game. You know, you got the time to, to make the progress, I guess. But I mean, terrible reason for it to happen that way. Sorry to hear that, buddy. All right, fix that up a little bit, like so. Let's see. Do I want to go that way? Just drop them down and just finish it off like so. There, that should be everybody. All right, so then we take the background and we drop them into the background. So I just do a negative 10, which is overkill, but it works. All right, now that I see this in context, I definitely want to add a little bit more. So let me flush out a bit more. Let's see. Um, forced career change. <laughs> what was your job at NAFTA? Uh, guessing if uh, didn't translate to USMCA. Hey, look at that blow the stone, man. He's up on it. Uh, I'm finishing my uh, final year university project. Oh, nice. Uh, book the moon. Okay, you gotta translate that for me. I'm not uh, book the moon. I'm not sure what that is. NAFTA is a North America free trade. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. North American, uh, North, North American Free Trade Alliance, right? I think that's what it stood for. But uh, yeah, the president sort of like said, "Yeah, we're gonna redo." And yeah, I thought I, I thought it was coming around. I um, they're they're coming to a new new agreement, I think on a revised version, but I have no idea what the timeline is for any of that stuff. My knowledge is pretty slim on that stuff, so. Uh, Book Infernal Hell. I <laughs> got it. Yeah, uh, I vaguely remember school, and all I do remember is that I don't miss it. <laughs> the only way I say I miss it, I miss it with every shot so far. I, yeah, I was not, not the big fan of school in general. I was happy to be done with it, happy to be in the real world. <laughs> I 
industrial engineer for Amazon. Oh, wow. Okay, oh, a medieval style game. Cool. That sounds cool. Nice. So, uh, so the, for the medieval game, what, what tools are you using? Is it going to be like a 2D hack and slash? 3D? Tons of questions. Just fill my glass here. All right. Let's see if I can get a little more stuff going on here. I guess that's not bad. I wouldn't mind. Maybe like that. Uh, if you want to check it out, there's a couple of trailers. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, I love how you hang out and interact with the chat. <laughs> Thanks, man. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I mean, I, I'm working out of the house, you know, and since I'm like a one-man crew, right, you know, and I talk to the dogs, and the dogs at a certain point just kind of go, I'm bored, and then leave, right? So yeah, I enjoy the talk, man. I absolutely enjoy the talk. Um, oh, here we go. Oh, sweet. Check it out. Um, so is this, okay, what am I looking at? Is this, uh, Unity or Unreal? I'm proud of the, the fact that I could say that Unity can sometimes match now graphically, so I can actually say that with a straight face and not kind of go, yes, obviously one or the other. Oh, nice. Here we go. Check it out. We got a trailer here. Mute the sound. Oh, this, okay, got the sound muted. Fake team. <laughs> I like that. I mean, I come on Twitch. I'm exhausted from coding. Okay, uh, eighteen point, uh, eighteen point three. Got it. Looks pretty, man. I love the graphics. Nice. Yeah, honestly, I've seen some like school projects and. Dude, this is ambitious and, quite honestly, much prettier than what I, I've seen. Don't get caught. <laughs> oh, nice. Kind of Harry Potter-esque. Oh, cool. Oh, so you can, like, take him over? There were, uh, what was the game that was like that? Where you could, like, uh, you were the cherub, right? And you could, like, take over other characters. I love that game. That looks cool, man. All right. Oh, we're not done yet. Nice. So he's still possessing him? Yeah, there's a game that was like a PC game. It had to be at least 20 years ago now, right? It was like, might even be pre-3D accelerated cards. Yeah, that's pretty, guy. That's, yeah, that's, that's really pretty. Peggy 7. Wow, you actually got a Peggy rating? God, you guys really are hardcore. You're serious, aren't you? Discover a new world. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. I like how you play as a book. That is a cool twist. I agree, yeah. It's a magician locked in a room that can control demons. Got it. All right, I gotta think of that that game. I gotta show you that game. Um, Messiah. That was it. Not that I remembered. I had to look it up. But yeah, I don't know if you ever saw Messiah, or if you're in college, this might have been before your time. But that kind of mechanic where you could actually possess people, right? Because you're like this little baby, right? You were an angel, angelic uh, little cherub. Uh, yeah. Not sure what he did there. Let's see. Yeah, but you could like possess other characters, which is kind of cool, and you could like do stuff, but. And you were like completely 
uh, safe, right? Until you actually would pop out, and then you'd be incredibly vulnerable, right? You could always take damage, so you'd have to hurry up and like sneak into someone. So if you if you possess someone and no one sees it, then you're fine. But if you possess someone and people are watching you, then they just kick your butt, right? <laughs> you know. But if you possess the right guy and he's got like a weapon, you're gonna win. <laughs> you know, you're just gonna wipe them all out. But yeah, this was Messiah was such a fun game, man. I love this one. But I mean, you can tell by the graphics, it's insanely old. I, am, I forgot to look at the date. Um, how did you get your rating to have a, uh, you have to have a uh, contact? Uh, oh, it's just fake? <laughs> Peggy-ish. It's a Peggy-ish rating, right? <laughs> I love it. Uh, I'm making a survival game, but I'm taking a break. Uh, this is it. All right, I'll check that out as well. Give me one sec here. Oh, there it popped up here. Something to chat. Let's see. So, you ever heard of a game called Minecraft? Um, I read about it somewhere. <laughs> oh, okay, this is... Okay, gotcha. This is what you're talking about in Bolt. Got it, got it. Yeah, I, yeah, that's actually a good question. Um... Preview off on. Oh, I love the water. Look at that. That's pretty. Cool. So, a uh, destructive environment kind of thing. You can build and destroy. Oh, there you go. There's the, <laughs> the green block. I guess that answers my question. Right on cue. Amplify uh, Shader Editor. Oh, that's sweet. I've, I've seen Amplify and I've just never bothered tackling it because all my games have been sort of like mobile games that I, you know, and then. I, I actually co-manage a Lightwave user... Uh, Lightwave. <laughs> I co-manage a Unity user group here. And uh, I live in Las Vegas, right? And I always ask, when we finish a meeting, I say, hey, is there anything you guys want us to look at? And they're always going like, yeah, the shaders, man. The amplified shader. You know, it's like... Or the uh, the, the built-in shaders is kind of like... Crap, I haven't touched any of that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, that's all Lightweight... Render pipeline, really? Wow, nice. Yeah, I went to the um, Unity, uh, the Unite last year in LA, and I, I dug into the lightweight render pipeline stuff, and it's really exciting. I, I'm apprehensive about using it because I, I think it's still, you know, I think it still needs to stay in the oven a little while, get cooked a little bit longer. But um, yeah, I can't wait to really put the lightweight render pipeline to good use. Oh, wow, that's really pretty, dude. Yeah, I just saw, yeah, look at that. The god rays coming down. And even like the, the, the green box is like showing the interaction and the ambient occlusion and stuff like that. Nice. Uh, I'm using it on uh, 2018.4. Got it. Um, where I, I I haven't followed lately. Where is the lightweight render pipeline at? Is it still in like considered beta, or is it actually production ready now? I haven't followed it lately. I, I you know what? I really shouldn't ask this question because I don't want to <laughs> start thinking. Hmm. Hmm. But in fairness, I'm doing I'm doing 2D. This one is all 2D, so I can avoid trying to jump into the whole learning. The lightweight render pipeline for this one at least. The next game, yeah, I'll probably go back to 3D. This is actually my first true 2D game. It's uh, okay. It's available during install. Got it. Okay. Well, I definitely want to play with it. I definitely want to learn it. But um, yeah, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta finish the game I'm on. But I, I, I can't wait. I, I, the demos I've seen, right, using the lightweight render pipeline are just, I mean beautiful stuff man and the fact that it could do like all that that real-time lighting too that the demo that they showed right where they're like dynamically moving large objects around and and like all the palm trees and stuff i mean that's the stuff you expect on like a desktop right but to see that actually functioning in mobile land that's just freaking awesome oh nice time of day change that's sweet dude nice man all right so it goes on for 20 minutes I think I might. Is there anything else in, in here that's like uh, something that really sticks out that we should take a look at? Uh, otherwise, I'm going to drop back out. But 
Uh, I'm using uh, screen space parallel split shadow maps. Nice. Honestly, I'm not even sure. <laughs> uh, did you make the assets? Oh, that, yeah, there's a good question. Oh, really? Wow, man. Those are beautiful. Well done, man. Nice. So, uh, what did you make them in? Uh, Dragon Rift. Was that something that you were like, um, I don't know. I don't know what the school has. I mean, if it's like, you have my licenses or is it, um, or if it's, um, da, 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 like Blender. <laughs> it took four years. <laughs> well, that helps. Of course. It, you know, that helps, to, you know. <laughs> well, my last game in fairness took three years. Well, I mean, but more like a year and a half because I had a bunch of freelance work that helped pay the bills while I was doing the game, but that's cool, man. Yeah, this is looking cool, too. I like that. Thanks for sharing, man. Very cool. But yeah, I love seeing what everyone else is working on, too. And I love it and also tend to get jealous. It's like, oh, man, I want to do that. All right. Um, it's why I started my space shooter. I need a break. <laughs> I can relate. Yeah, it's. I'm I'm at the point now where the game is so in the early phase, so I'm I'm still like totally gung ho, but there is that mid phase, right? You know what I mean? Where you, it's like you know things are still progressing. There's no big discoveries. Everything is pretty much like full steam ahead. And you're just kind of like plugging along, but um, you know. And then when you get towards the end, then you start getting that horse sees the barn mentality, and you're like home stretch, right? And you get excited again. But yeah, I know there's definitely those points where you're just kind of like you gotta really push yourself to want to keep going. You know, you invent like little like uh, goalposts, right? They can just like you know motivate yourself. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, me and my partner sold the terrain on Unity. Oh, sweet. Congrats on that, man. That's nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm a... Dude, if you saw how many things I own from the Unity Asset Store, it's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, this is the faster uh, GIF, by the way. Um, all right, cool. Clicking it now. Oh, yeah, 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 dude much better boom yeah absolutely so um it's ultimate trains all right i'll take a look at that too do that well too so um so i go back to what i was asking before though about this so i mean is it is the shot going to be like are they, are they shooting forward or are they is the the muzzle going to hit from the side because it, if it's a if they're firing like to the side, it seems like there should be a, a, an element of uh, perspective to it, if you know what I mean. But if it's one of those things that are kind of shooting out, um, it's omnidirectional. Got it. Okay. Is it top down? Well, you got you got the the. Uh, this is your current, right? This is more like a an isometric view, right? If it's isometric, then I think you're totally fine. Yeah. Yeah. Then I, and then I'm gonna shut up about the angle stuff. Um, let's see. Yeah, dude, I'd say walk away, man. I, I'd say with the, the sped up pace of it right there, I, I'd say it's, you're there. Yep. That's it. Walk away. Just say it's there. Pretty. Let's see. And I was going to take a look at this. This guy? Is this the correct one? Whoa. Let's see. Look like there's a couple. Yeah, this is it. Oh, pretty dude. Ultimate terrains. Uh, LOD system overview. Extremely big terrains. Oh, nice. Dude, check out that powers of 10 pullback. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Nice. Oh, come on. Now you're just showing off. Look at that. 
I want to go from the spaceship down to the planet into someone's face. Nice. These rings. Yeah. Is there any, anything you imagine? Even floating islands, caves, etc. Sweet. Well, congrats on getting some of this tour, man. Um, I Yeah, I, I got total respect for anyone that packages something up. And, I mean, well, I mean, it's one thing to sit there and package something up and throw it out there. But, I mean, something that honestly looks quality, man. This is nice. Oh, I, whoa, whoa, Voxel. I didn't even, oh, okay, I didn't even pick up on that part, too. Nice. So, dynamic, too? I mean, is there something you can change the dynamics of the voxels at runtime? Or is it just kind of baked? Pretty. I love voxels, man. The early voxel video games back before 3D. Uh, Comanche. Do you guys remember Comanche? Or am I just dating the hell out of myself? Procedural complete. Nice. So this is... Uh, Com oh, Comanche. This When I think voxels, this is like... Um, 1992 which translates to before most of you guys are born <laughs> i know i know i know but um i i loved comanche to this thing uh it has 11 low levels and dual contouring nice look at that and uh and lod beautiful dude Sweet. It looks like you're doing good in the reviews, too. Yeah, so this is like... This is old school. <laughs> Voxel. Or... Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. If you really want to talk about Voxel graphics, let's go Rescue and Fractalus. Now, this... I can guarantee was pretty much bef before virtually all you guys were born. <laughs> 1985. How's this for a blast in the past? This is something I played the crap out of. This is on my old Commodore 64. I mean, look at these. This is look at that. <laughs> look at that frame rate. What is that like? You know, like six frames a second. So you had to land on the planet and it, like rescue these these hostages or the crash pilots. But then you had to wait and see if they were gonna be an alien or a human, right? And they would run up and they would either bang on the door and you'd open up and then they would climb in or sometimes they'd be the aliens that were posing as the pilots and you'd have to they would like pop up in front of your screen oh man play that game like crazy look at that but yeah so we've come to, we've come quite a way since there and here <laughs> but no dude that's beautiful man extreme distance of view up to 65,000 jeez that's insane man <laughs> Uh, we we made that terrain uh, because uh, Copeland did not do proper uh, booms at the time. Okay, got it. Oh, well, hey, you know, mother necessity, right? But that's cool. So you put your own thing together, packaged it up, and sold it. That's awesome, man. Congrats on that. That is so cool. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I've had a bunch of friends tell me that, like, because I, I do animation, that it's like, you know, um, like, why aren't you, like, doing your own animation stuff and put it up there? It's just, it, it's, I got no good answer. I, I know I should. I just have not taken the time to do that. Voxel Land. Nice. That's cool. I'm, I'm happy to see that because, like I said, voxels were the way to go before 3D acceleration. But it's cool to see that voxels are still alive and kicking. In this day and age, kind of clean that up a little bit, and I'm gonna start. I'm gonna stop fussing with this thing here in just a second. I think that's good, like so. so is there anything I'm gonna put in here? All right, I think. Let's see what that looks like. Excuse me. It's still a little thin in here. You know what? I'm going to stop tweaking this. I'll just come back, see if I like it. If not, I can always revise. 
Uh, I'm gonna hop off for now. Uh, peace. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna wrap up at six here myself, so I still got about 20 minutes to go. But Blow the Stone, thanks for coming by again, buddy. It's good to see you again. Thanks for the chat. Thanks for. Uh, I'm glad I finally remembered to put on Discord that hey, I'm streaming again. <laughs> Uh, I hit 2.6 million pixels in view uh, on TXC uh, 1070. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, man. Have yourself a great weekend. I'll be back here on Monday. Hope you get. Hope you can swing around again. Yeah. Okay. So and him, I don't have to mess with as much. Uh, I do need to put my level manager on here. Add that. Yeah, uh, Blow the Stone, by the way, uh, Blow the Stone actually does his own stream as well. Uh, I'm not sure if he's done one lately, but he's doing some game dev as well, so definitely give him a look. Uh, two guys just plugging away, which is always cool. They're doing an isometric game that they've been working on for a little while, and they still got a little ways to go. But they're, they're always fun guys to watch as well. Okay. So we need to drop background in here like so. Everything else I can pretty much ignore. This is for a different world. So all I care about is the background tiles. And all I have to do is grab my coins, which are kind of floating in space right now. Right? Why do I not have... Uh, why am I not selecting my coins? That's strange. I have no idea why. Tip reward, tip reward. Okay, there it is. And then just parent them to the background. So that way they hang with the background. As the background ro rotates around or drifts up and down, the coins will hang with it. So I think that's enough play for the moment. I'm going to actually fire this up and see what it looks like. Um, he's center, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to drop him right in the beginning and put one back when I need to. So I can just see a quick check, like so. All right, yep. There you go, that's not too bad. No, I kinda like it, actually, now that I see it and, and moving around like that, at first I thought this looked like a kinda a tree stalk, but I kinda like the separation and the difference there, so. Not terrible. All right. Oops. Come on. And he's gonna do his thing. There you go. So let's see. Yep. I'm just looking. All right. Oh, looks like I got the same tile there a few times. I'll have to break that up. Don't like repetition. That's one thing I'm definitely jonesing to do is just make sure that there's no gratuitous repetition in there. But. But yeah, I think, for the most part, I think that's going to play nicely. It's kind of cool. We have these little gaps over here. You can't get to them, but they're just kind of nice and showy. Yep. All right, so let me fix that one thing. That was eight. It's this guy right here. So it's background. All right. And... We'll start with one of these, like so, and maybe like that. How about that? Oh, jeez, <laughs> another raid! Oh my God! Wow! See, there's a there's a plus to being like on here for a while. <laughs> so you get multiple raids. Jeez! Thanks, man. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Look at that massive raid. All right, let me f do this quick fix here. Let me fix this, and then I'll do a quick demo of what I'm doing. Wait, why is that 20? Yep, that's good. So let me drop it back to the background. Welcome. So that's how you do the foreground stuff. <laughs> hey, Nom Nomaro is doing a follow. Thank you so much for the follow, man. Welcome, welcome. E3, yeah, uh, electronic uh, electronic. Expo Entertainment Electronic Entertainment Expo. There it is. Um, <laughs> follow him now. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah, so this is a game I've been working on for just a few weeks. Um, how to do that for so long? Um, there's some great demos, by the way. If you are seriously, if you are interested, um, there are some fantastic demos that that got me up to speed. It, it's a little quirky, um, and it's gotten better. They've improved it quite a bit since I first started playing with it. But it's it really is once you get the hang of it, it is pretty simple and the benefits are insane i think i was demonstrating before that i got a bunch of stuff going on but i got a draw call that's literally like nine right i mean that's that's absolutely fantastic so um hey xicx1 i don't even know how to pronounce that but uh, uh thanks for the follow man appreciate that buddy thanks a lot man all right so i'll give you guys a quick rundown and give you some context what is happening uh trough <laughs> trough is doing a follow as well thanks man Welcome, welcome, guys. Thanks for the raid, also. All right. So this is going to be a platformer uh, sci-fi game. What you're seeing is a game that's in transition at this point. Uh, before this point, all the art was all placeholder, right? But now I've got a very talented artist on board that's helped me make some tiles, right? So I'm now in the process of putting those tiles together. Look at this, man. I got to Oh, jeez. I'm going to drop bombs just because I've never seen that many people down there before. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. Everyone flies. Okay, so check it out. So this is going to be a game that's going to be coming out for... Uh, I've been a mobile guy. This is my seventh game. All my games before have been mobile. But this one's going to be mobile as desktop as well. Uh, so the tiles you see are pretty much final art. But the lava that you see and the characters and the coins, they're still placeholder. Um, <clears throat> but the idea is that you're stuck. Your little character gets caught where he shouldn't be. And he gets tossed into the core of a planet with a molten lava core that is rising and you're gonna kind of progress your way up and try and collect coins as you go avoid the lava of course right <clears throat> like so uh, wall climbing metro is a flashback <laughs> yeah and it's funny um, I, I talked about this before originally I was not gonna have wall climbing in my game but what ended up happening was that the contact that I, I that when I was doing it on Android, I was having these issues where it would sometimes embed itself in the wall. And I finally bit the bullet and decided that, okay, fine, I'll just do this as an actual wall climb as well. So that was not my original intention. That was really not my original intention. <clears throat> Android autocorrect. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, good job to the artist. Absolutely. A very talented guy named uh, Daniel Thomas, who I, I've worked with a couple of times in the past. Yeah, absolutely fantastic guy. He actually has a couple of art pieces, some tile work that's uh, available in the Unity store as well. But I, he and I first worked together in my very first game, which goes all the way back to 2010. And he did the characters for me and the art back then. And whenever I get enough budget that I can afford to bring it back on, because I am a one-man wrecking crew kind of thing, I absolutely hand it off to him and just say, dude, make me pretty art, man. Take my crap art and make it pretty. Uh, the lava is still uh, better than the one in Fortnite Save the World. <laughs> Loving those tiles. Yeah, yeah. Uh, his name is Daniel Daniel Thomas. Like I said, insanely art, insanely gifted artist, right? And um, yeah. All right. So, um, oh, I got something stuck there, didn't I? Oh, that's the, oh, I left the, the old level in there. I got to fix that. That's funny. Um, so, like I said, yeah, definitely um, the characters are placeholder. Uh, I'm holding off on, on swapping them out because the game is actually tied to a pretty famous intellectual property, which I haven't publicly announced yet, and that's the E3 thing. So I'm going to go to E3 and pitch it there to a couple of companies, and then once I finish that, I'm going to come back online and spill the beans and tell you guys all about what this thing is, yeah, all the character and all that kind of stuff. So I will be letting you guys in at that point. Uh, the objective here is also to have a polished demo by San Diego Comic-Con, which I'm fortunate enough to have a table at. So that will be mid-July. So that's my current goal. Sounds interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's been something that I've been pursuing, right? For, it, it took me three years to actually lock it down. You know, it's, it's something that I've really been working hard on to try and accomplish. But it, I finally did get it locked up, and I'm really excited about it. Um, oh, there he is. There's the culprit. Let me uh, turn off the old one, like so. All right, and then five is one I was just starting to work on. So, yeah, and that covers the 
Oh yeah, okay, I do have the cover on that one. Good. All right, so let me back out again. So ultimately, um, uh, you're going to pitch to who? Publishers? Actually, probably not. No, uh, what I want to do is actually... Oh, I'm sorry about the mic bump there. Um, basically, I want to talk to Nintendo. Um, I am a Nintendo licensed developer, but only for uh, Wii U and, uh, and 3DS, right? So obviously not what I want. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard about it. Nintendo released this new thing called the, the Switch. I don't know. I don't know if you guys have like seen any news on that thing but that's what i want um unfortunately the way nintendo works right now is even if you're a licensed developer you do not develop for the switch until they say you're developing for the switch <laughs> <-hoo. laughs> uh, so uh, that's that i want to talk to them i also want to talk to uh sony also a licensed developer for sony and xbox and talk to those guys and just see if there's any interest um you know i would love to go to console obviously i would love to go to console um but definitely to pc and mobile so i am going to talk to uh epic if i can right and i why not right you know and see if there's any interest there because you know every bit helps you know but if not there's you know there's epic or and or steam so that's the ultimate goal there um so, but no, in terms of publishers, no, probably not going to reach out to any publishers. Uh, honestly, I, at this point, it's pretty much bootstrapped and we're good to go. So it's just a matter of getting the game put together uh, and then, you know, getting the right people interested in terms of like platforms. <clears throat> um, so the orange tiles are those the same, but with a change in color. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll show you that in just a second. Um, I am a licensed Steam partner. Uh meaning they gave me a uh, three appid free oh nice uh have you asked have you asked them uh there's an email to request the dev kit yeah i did honestly i did um yeah like i said i am a developer right and my previous game um which would have been a perfect fit it, it's uh, my previous game which is out now free for ios and android shameless plug called volley village Sort of like Angry Birds meets Battleship. And you have two islands, and you're just basically launching shots at your opponents, right? And trying to knock out the buildings before they knock out yours. It's a perfect fit for the Switch. And I sent it off to them, and they got back to me, and they just said, no, no dev kit is available for you at this time. That was it. No feedback, no nothing, right? Um, and I did have a friend that has another company as well that he said, well, how many times did you resubmit? And wait, wait, you can do that? So he pointed out the fact that sometimes you just have to blindly keep sending it back into their face until you get the right person to say yes so that may have been my fault um and, and how are you gonna handle the advertisement for the game oh good question so all my games with the exception of my very first game have all been free to play right uh because this is actually tied into an intellectual property right that, that means that there is a fan base and a, hopefully a user base uh i'm gonna I'm going to be brave enough that I'm going to go back into premium. I'm basically going to charge you a couple bucks up front. You get the whole game and you're done. So that's the short answer. Um, there is no advertisement. There is nothing. I'm, you know, I, I just spent umpteen ages on my last game integrating all that stuff in there. And I would love to do one sans that, you know, I, so and we'll, we'll see if it's a good move or if it's a bad move. I think there are games, you know, Downwell is a perfect example of a, a, a game that has no intellectual property but was able to succeed as a premium title. Uh, we, I, I, yeah, 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 and, and it's a big question mark, you know? And like I said, come back, you know, after that date expires, right? Come back after I finish E3 and I will fill you in on all the details and you can come back and you can say, okay, yeah, I get that, right? That actually, that's a decent IP and yeah, you have a user base. Um, I'll tease it this way. The character has been around for 50 years and over 50 years and has never had a video game based on it specifically. So there you go. I mean, I, I, I have that market corner, which is nice. Um, oh yeah. So I was, you were asking about the mid tiles. Yeah, you're exactly right, dude. So, um, yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Been around a while. Um, and of course you can tell just from the aesthetics it's, it's sci-fi, but uh, so what I did was, uh, for the mid-ground tiles, right? You're totally right. So what I did was I just took the, the current tile set, right? Went into Photoshop, desaturated them a bit, right? And dropped them down to this, right? And lowered the contrast, right? So it, it's it's 
more fogged out. And just by taking this, right, and then if I come into like here, right, you can actually see if I go to background tiles, and all I'm just doing is a color like that. So I just I do a color shift on it, right? Which I was mentioning before, I could probably, if I want to be a good boy, I could go back into Photoshop and colorize this set, right, to match this so I don't even have to do any colorizations, but I don't mind it. You know, this gives me the option to, if I want to do some quick changes, I can come at it that way, you know. So and it, it's just it's nice. And by having it in a separate layer, this is using Unity's new 2D tile set, which I was fighting it to begin with, but I'm actually getting on board with it. But it's kind of nice because you have total control over it. Oh, dude, here's the awesome thing about it. So check this out. So if I look at my, um, uh, let's see, if I look at my, uh, there you go, platforms. And if it, oh, I turned my gizzos off. So check this out. So I kind of got this backwards. Let me turn off. Where's my cover? Cover. Turn that off for a second, like so. Right. And then if I delete this, right? So, oops, deleted the wrong thing, didn't I? No, wrong one. Platforms. Try this again. Move. There. That's what I was trying to demonstrate, right? So. The thing about tiles is, of course, every tile is its own entity, right? So you, it's nice for collision, but you can see you got a massive amount of colliders, right? But they got this sweet little script, right? If you just go in here and go composite collider, boom, and it just drops it all out. Look at that. Now it's just one, right? It consolidates that all down to one giant tile with collider, right? And that's absolutely fantastic. I mean, you, you because. Um, I'm not sure if I can actually see the benefits here um, with the uh, with the stats or not. I'm not sure if it even shows up that way, but it's just it's nice the fact that even in the middle of the game, right? As I was showing before, if I can, let's go stats. So I'm currently I'm at uh, my set pass calls is five, right? Yeah, good performance exactly. It, it, you know, I oh I hid the section right there. But yeah, so I'm at, okay, I'm at nine. I'm at nine draw calls right now, right? Look at that. And I, I mean, I got characters. I got all these other things going on, right? And it's literally nine. Um, and the beauty of that, too, is so, yes, I can gear for mobile, right? But I can also ramp up for desktop. And I can add tons of additional bells and whistles, lots of animation, lots of motion, lots of crap, you know, just teeming with life, right? And never worry about performance. So just by trying to focus on the mobile set, but still make it pretty, that's the, the trade-off. I'm still trying to make it pretty, but mobile friendly, right? But then not make it look like just a typical mobile game. And then still have that room above that allows me to start putting in all kinds of like background activity and stuff like that, that will allow me to, you know, make it beautiful for desktop and separate it somewhat from mobile, but still, you know, recognizable. <clears throat> For so long, I was looking on how to that foreground. <laughs> uh, can I get your opinion on my 3D art? Absolutely, dude. Yeah. First time using Blender. Got it. Let's take a look. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's a good start. It's a good start. If you're just starting with Blender, then I would say you're off to a fine start. You know? Um, yeah. Absolutely, dude. Um, I haven't used Blender myself. I'm, I'm kind of, a, it, it's an underwater city builder. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, here's the game me and my uh, friend working on, but I am the artist. Oh, okay. Check it out, guys. Let's see what we got. Cool. Um, yeah, so what do you, uh, what is this in? Is it Unity as well? Or something else? Movement seems a little fast. But I mean, I don't know if you probably early on, so I, I should shut up <laughs> and not make comments because, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Unity. Gotcha. Yeah. Cool. I like the art, man. Yeah, very, uh, yeah. You got the, the 8 bit pixel stuff going on nicely. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, you got the nice parallax going on with the background as well. Cool, man. 
Uh, you see no foreground? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, and it's always a challenge to try and separate, too. That's, I mean, to me, that's one of the big things that I, I've been really focusing on and, and working with my artist that who's helping me out is to make sure that there's a, a definite separation, right? Um, Uh-oh, I got stuck. You know, because I, I, I want it to be very discernible, right? So, and then, thankfully, my artist has a fantastic absolutely fantastic eye for color space and and that kind of stuff and and you know corresponding colors and stuff like that that really makes it go a long way <clears throat> but uh yeah it's it's i mean i i'm this is my first four way for this is my first foray into 2d game straight off right all my my i've done six games so far and all my previous six games have all been uh true 3d right so this is kind of an interesting uh, adjustment. <clears throat> uh, what are the buttons in the transforms for uh, PRS? Uh, <clears throat> what are the buttons in the transform for uh, position, rotation, uh, scale? Are you, are you, if you're talking about Unity, then Unity follows just like Maya does. So it's, uh, it's just W-E-R, right? I don't know about Blender. I, I'm assuming... Uh, I really dig his tiling. Absolutely, dude. My my artist is just fantastic. I, I love his stuff, right? Um, but yeah, if you're asking about Unity, then it's W E R, W for translation, E for rotation, and S for scale. Or one's in the inspector. Oh oh um yeah, this reset. So uh, position rotation S. So if you want to just do like a reset on a position, you can do it that way, or you can come up to the gear. And actually hit reset and it resets all of them at the same time there you go so it's just if you're too lazy to go like this <laughs> yeah which is what I do right or you can just hit the button like that just quick reset there you go um, yeah let's see where am I at okay so I'm a little after six I'm I'm pretty much getting to my wrap-up point but um, I definitely appreciate all you guys hanging out with me for sure. Um, in the meantime, I might kind of stop down a little bit on the work. I don't know if there's any other questions or anything you want to talk about. Hmm. But yeah, like I said, so I am I'm a one person company. Although I I do bring on help sometimes, uh, and that's what I'm doing with this game uh, to help expedite the process, depending on how much I have in resources. <laughs> translates to money uh so you know and as i said i've been doing animation at this point i've been doing animation for mostly for like tv shows for the last 20 years so thankfully i actually had a pretty good run uh, the last year so i'm kind of stocked up so i'm able to bring in some talented people to help me expedite the process and obviously do it exponentially better than i would have done myself which is always good i uh, can't wait to play this looks fun thanks man so the game plan will be to actually do like WebGL versions, right? As I go along, so you guys can start offering some feedback and uh, thoughts on the gameplay. Um, pretty much you get a sense of what's here so far. Um, the only thing I can think of is, you know, each new world is gonna be a different visual motif, right? You're gonna start off in this, this you know, you're down subterranean, right? You're, you're in this deep chasm, right? And then, if you climb out of here, then you make it up into a canyon area, and then you're gonna progress up into like a an alien type, uh, jungle type environment, each with different creatures that you're gonna face, and then ultimately you're gonna get your yourself back onto a spaceship where the the final world takes place up in a ship, right? So you're just kind of like working your way back up into that environment. Uh, different alien creatures, right? The first alien creature you face off against is kind of simplistic. He just kind of does an attack like that. Um, the next one is going to be a little more advanced. He's going to do constant patrolling, but it also have it'd be like a sandworm, so it'd be the ability to go into a tunnel and ping pong between two different locations to you know kind of catch you off guard. And it'll also have like spikes, so you'd only be able to squish him when he's in a transition transition point, right? You know. And then after that, it looks like uh, the the third world is going to be like a creature that's kind of like an alien monkey type one that's going to be able to chase you around. Um, I just started working on the A on that, and this is going to be embarrassing because it's still very much, like, mostly broken, but, and I'm still using placeholder art, but I'll, I'll show you if you want to see real quick, and then I might wind down. 
let's see so let me come back into here and then yeah so at this point all I was trying to do with this was um, bring this up so yeah I was just this is my old placeholder tile art you can see and a placeholder character this just I always get free characters from unity you know, right from the asset store when I'm just doing the the gray box technique you know and then I replace them with my real characters as I go along so my idea for this was um, the character you see initially just he only attacks when you're right in front of him the secondary character is able to transition through a tunnel to two different spaces right this guy is able to kind of follow you around so he hits these waypoints which are on each edge of the platforms and the idea will be he'll he'll analyze where you are and decide which way to go and right now it's mostly broken but um, this is what I worked on Wednesday for anyone that was here before but uh, so right now he's doing the spastic kind of thing where he's just kind of going from position to position but he is able to fall around but every now and then he'll get to an edge and kind of screw up and then yeah like this excuse me so this was my initial attempt at trying to figure out the best way to have him do a pursuit and then obviously he'll do a jump right now he just kind of floats in this vibrating kind of fashion from position to position but he'll actually do like this cool jump because once again animation is my bread and butter so hopefully the animation will be entertaining but um, so yeah and this will be like that and then of course once you make it up to the alien ship then you start getting into more intelligent alien creatures that will be of course armed right so they'll have much more motion in terms of moving around and they will actually be firing back at you right so that's the kind of stuff I'm gonna be plugging through but my focus right now is just to get this first section up and running as much as possible for E3, just for some early demos, right, to try and get some people interested. But like I said, finally, um, once I come back from that, I promise I'm going to spill the beans on the whole thing and you guys can uh, judge. Uh, one of the key reasons I haven't talked about the IP yet is because once I do, right, you know, I expect to get a little bit of uh, exposure from it. And I didn't want to have, you know, <laughs> this. I didn't want people to come look at the game and say, wait, this looks like crap, right? So that's one of the key reasons I've held off all this time of publicly talking about the intellectual property is because once I do, people are going to come and I want them to see something that looks more like, you know, this, right, than this. So that's why I've been sort of like holding my cards closed, but pretty soon. But, um... Yeah, so we're 10 after 6, so for me, it's about time to wind it up. Um, I don't know if you guys have any other questions for me. If not, uh, I am going to call it a day, I think, but I guess, you know, I still got a bunch of guys hanging with me, so I'm going to try and do a raid myself, which I'm never really good at, but I'm going to try this. Let me see what I can do here. Um, let me dial that down. Sorry about that. Um, let's see what we got. Uh, all right. I know I can do a raid, but I just gotta remember how to do it. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done a raid in so long. Normally, I don't have this many people hanging with me. So, let me see. I swear it used to be right here. I, I think, I think Twitch moved their menus around. So, let's see. Nope. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying to learn on the fly here. Um, no, it's got to be in there, right? Channel. Nope, that's not it. it. Should be right there. All right, guys, I'm just doing a terrible job of this. All right, if I can't figure this out quickly, <laughs> let's see. Got the activity feed. Um, it used to be right there. I swear they moved it. And I can't find it, guys. All right. Uh, with the raid command? Okay. Can I do it that way? Does that just give me options? Oh, it helps if I can actually spell correctly. Like that? Yeah. There you go. Dude, thank you. Thanks for helping me not make a total idiot myself here. All right. Let's find somewhere to go. What do you say, guys? Um, browse? All right, and I would love to support a fellow Unity developer, so I'm gonna look there first, of course, but if not, I will just look for whoever could use some lovin'. 
which you guys are nice enough to do to me too. I, I got not one but two raids today. Guys, that was just freaking awesome, man. I appreciate you guys coming by. And and you guys were hanging too. You know, a lot of times you get raided and like, you know, it's like you get like boom, it, you know, big a number and it just like plummets back down to nothing. But you guys are hanging for a while. I appreciate that. All right. Um, before I actually find something here, where's... We should be in here somewhere. Did I miss it? There we are. All right. Um, glad to see this game in progress. Thanks, man. All right. So let me look under... Let's see. Look under Unity here. Uh, hey, there's me. <laughs> okay, that's not helping. Uh, English. All right. Let me just scroll down this way, see if anyone's talking about it. Uh, Discord bot. Let's see. Uh, Moon Moon Game Jam. Anti-matter tape. I'm not sure what he's doing in, but... Let's see. Game Dev. Alright, I think we'll check out this guy. He's... Um, let's see. I gotta find Unity. I gotta support my, my fellow Unity developers, right? Let me out, guys. Hey, Unity. Unity Asset Dev. PvP, PS4, and native Android Studio. There's our winner. All right. So before I send you guys off, um, actually, and how do I actually do the raid too? Uh, channel, is it? Uh, Cala Creation. Got it. Okay, guys. Let me just say one more time. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. And I uh, hope you guys have yourself a fantastic weekend. I myself broadcast Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 3 to 6. That's P Pacific Standard Time, wherever it is for you guys. Hope you guys can come back, uh, check out the progress. It's going to get really fun, especially once I actually unleash the whole details. I think you guys are going to be really interested. And I promise I'm going to do updates where you guys can try it out and offer your own feedback. Um, I mean, this is early days. I'm still literally weeks into this, right? So, I mean, I'm still early, but it's coming together very nicely. So, I hope you guys come back. Thanks for all the new guys that uh, came here and also gave me a follow. I really do appreciate that. And I hope you guys come back next week and hang with me some more. Yeah? <laughs> Awesomeness. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. All right, guys. Time to send you guys off. Let's do this. Let's see if I do this correctly. <clears throat> and it was... Uh, Callow creation. If I can type correctly. All right. That'll do it, guys. All right. Thanks again, guys. And hope to see you guys real soon. All right. Take care. Oh. No, it gave me a countdown. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. All right. Five, four. There we go. It's going to count down. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Have yourselves a fantastic weekend. I hope, I hope you guys come back real soon. Adios.